stores. Yeah, you're one mil and you're point four. Yeah. One mil and point yeah. four. Oh, could yeah. I do my job? Yeah. Do you need to make you do me do your demo, do you? Yes. I thought oh. we'd swap. No, no. Yeah. Shall no. we? Is that the new format? Yes. No, no. Have you not been told? No. <laughs> Stretchy it is then. <laughs> or pearl earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that. Nobody needs that. I would like to welcome uh, Emma to the late show, not been with Yay. us for a while. Hello, Emma Perry. Hi. Lovely little girl on the camera. I'm very excited to be here. Oh, good. I'm waking up now. You're waking up now, yeah. <laughs> She's been here since what time this morning? Seven. 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 Oh. Yeah. Seven. Don't worry, we've got chocolate, we've got Skittles, oh. we've got biscuits, we've got everything. Of course, you... she sounds surprised. Who's the only person that brings things in for you all? You don't bring, you. I was telling my friend about those raspberry fingers. Oh, dear me. <gasps> she was so excited about raspberry fingers know, yeah. the other night. It was your little face when you prized open the loaf and you went, oh! Yeah. It was, it was <laughs> wonderful. They were good women. Yeah. I'll get you those again, all they right? Next time we're on together, we've got some and shows coming up. I'll get you some up. Yeah. So, they did them in lemon curd as well. <gasps> now then, 10 metres of your point four, 10 metres of your one mil. Now, we, the live show price was due to be 27.95. But we have had the authority of the big cheese. Oh. Yeah. The big cheese has stepped in. Brilliant. The big cheese. There's another big cheese in. Hello, Chloe. Oh, she gone. <laughs> oh. Are you ready? I tell you what, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Red pearls, green pearls, white natural pearls, 20 meters of wire. Wow. Just say it. Oh, I just cricked my neck. Don't, oh. yeah. You've had all your treatment. I'm going again tomorrow. Oh, are you? Been, yeah. Oh, it's, honestly, it's great. I'll just get jumped on by a young man. <laughs> I have to pay for it, mind. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> what? Oh, £36 a time to be jumped on by a young man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, chiropractor we're talking about. So, yeah, what do you think, Lynn? Oh, no, come on. We can't take it down from 27.95 to 19.95 and then I show myself up by nobody checks out. Because that is awesome. Let's break that down by five. That's less than four pounds for the reel mm. of wire and yeah. less than four pounds a strand. We've just taken those to less than four pounds a strand. 3.99 for the pearls, 3.99 for the pearls, 3.99 for the pearls, 3.99 for a reel of wire. Oh, Claire McDonald. Yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Thank you. But you get so many on that on that strand because the shape of them, they're sort of like those, uh, the rondelle button type. You're getting so many on there. So it means you can do that, you know, sort of like big, you know, spread them out and have um, big areas of them. Yeah. Well, you've you've got nuggets, potatoes and, mm -hmm. rice, and rice pearls. But this really is unbelievable. As I said, 1995. Now, obviously, the only thing that you need to do in order to incentivise the managing director to sign these kind of things off again, I need you to buy them all. I'll be honest. I must be honest. Because otherwise, if he does it and then says, well, it doesn't make any difference, mm. then we're not going to get the same, are we? No, no. So we need to check them all out. Mm. Don't, don't. Let's show him up. Um, now then, the good news is I have 120 kits. So at 1995. For the 20 metres of wire. I like those. They look like they look like they look like little Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah, they do. Yes. That was intentional. That it was, looks like that a Christmas was... Mickey Mouse. Yes, that's Aww. what I wanted. That was, yeah. That was. Little Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's good, isn't it? Right then, so. 1995 for all of that, all of the above. Two reels of wire. Three strands of pearls. The pearls, the white pearls are natural. The green are dyed, the red are dyed. But that is brilliant for twenty pounds, isn't it? Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, very. Oh, fancy. that's very trendy, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, I like the split screen. Yeah. Do you? Can you put me and Claire in that or not? So that I'm in one and Claire's in the other. That's clever. That'd isn't be it? good. That's very clever. Let's see if she can do it with light so that like like we're different. <laughs> I don't know if she can. Can you do that? Or is that a bit too far? 
Yeah, Claire in one screen, me in the other screen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> that's so good! That, that's magic, <laughs> isn't it? Now, do Claire. <gasps> oh, oh! Look! You're on yeah, twice! On the telly. You have to look at that screen Ooh. there, look. Go look along. at that, I can't see there. Can't Hello! Do you look reasonably wow. pleased, aren't we? We're easily pleased, aren't we? 90... Is the basket working? Do it be that the basket be working? Because I don't think there will be enough people checked out. Oh. I don't know where the accents come from. It so just like seemed to Pam jump Ayers. in. I don't know. Do you know, I went to see her once live. Did she you? was brilliant. I bet she was. Very, very, Pam very Ayers. clever. Very clever. She was brilliant, I've got to say. Mm. Who is Pam Ayers? Stop it. No. Do you know who else I think you might like? Jake Thackeray. He was a singer, but he's uh, funny as well. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, I'll have a look at him. Mm. Oh. Yeah, so, um, right, so, uh, now then, come on, everybody. Uh, mind you, to be fair, I think we're on a bit of a... I think we all just want the rain, don't we? Mm. We want the rain. It comes to something when it's the first time where the UKers are actually saying, please, will you rain? Please rain. Every late show this week, you've, you, people will have seen... My neighbours will have seen me outside with my head torch, watering, <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night. I mean, for goodness sake. You need to do a selfie of when you're doing it as well. Because I have to do it at night, because I can't you do it before I come to work. You have won't you? Yeah, you've got your head torch, torch on. Oh. You, it, are you, you're not using your... What? Are you allowed to use your hose? Um, we are, we're not on a band. We've got a good oh, supply okay. of water. I use my hose. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I am ordering a water butt. Oh, I yeah. Yeah, so I want a water butt. Because mm. plants prefer water butt rain. Have you had your soil tested? Marks, I bought three bags of soil in for Mark last night. Don't tell, don't let me, don't anybody say, oh, I don't spoil Mark Smith. I bought him three bags of soil from my garden last night to be Did tested. You? He hasn't done it yet. Right, so we're still waiting we're on We're waiting the for the soil test ah. results, Claire. We're waiting. Mm. We're waiting. So then, um, while you all check out on those kits at the reduced 19.95, Young McDonald, you can pay me later. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Thank you can pay you. me later, it's fine. Thanks. What is one going to um, demonstrate? So I'll show you how to do the, uh, how you can sort of set, set the pearls like that when you've got so many of them. Yes, please. Okay, so I've got... You use the spirally, um, spirally. I've, I've got the, the... Not the spiral, uh, the crinkle cutter. The crinkler. Have we got the crinkler? Oh. So... So what I'm going to do... <laughs> what I'm going to do is, so all of these pieces are built in the same way. It just depends how many uh, pieces of wire you have, okay? How many pieces? Okay, so I'll show you how to do them. So if you're working with the tool, uh, so what I'd say is if you've never worked with the tool before... Um, Shall I move over a bit? It's filling them in your you. way. Thank you. Oh, if it. you haven't worked with the tool before, have a go with a, a lower gauge wire. Would you mind holding that I for me I can do there? that. Does that mean Thank I'm your glamorous assistant? You are. You are. Um, so yeah, I'd maybe try maybe try with a 0 0.6 or a 0 0.8 first, and then go on to it just so that you get you get to um, uh, get. Oh! <laughs> I couldn't help myself for that. That was me. I just couldn't help myself. Sorry. I did it on oh. purpose. Sorry. Claire. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Oh dear. Sorry, Claire. So with the tool as well. So I'm just going to, um, <laughs> you get like different cogs. So I'm going to just, can you see I've sort of like pushed the, um, pushed the wire through. Oh, the little, yeah. um, there's a little sort of guide here. So I'm going to start and just, just bring this through. Just now what I do is, so that I can work with a heavier gauge of wire, I buy two of these so I get two handles. Because what you'll get is... Oh, that is a good idea. Because I use it so much. You can do it with just one, but because I like to do lots of it and with heavier Great gauges. Idea. So ah. if you've got two handles, you've got better... Uh, so can you see I've sort of like got a better, better grip on it. Better purchase. That's it, yeah. So you can see, so I'm just bringing that through on there. So you're going to do... It's going to get bingo, bingo wings, isn't it? It will, cause you, and you're doing it from both sides yeah, as well. So that's often, a good exercise. What you might do with one hand, you won't do with the other. But yeah. this one, you're doing it with both. Ambidextrous. Yeah. You're an ambidextrous wire crinkler. There we go. So can you see how that's sort of gone through? So I've, I do myself um, uh, quite a bit of these, and you've got your... 
You've got your, <laughs> your crinkly wire. Thank you now, assistant. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, he got right. the giggles again already. I know. Right, plus on the light show. <laughs> so I've got the uh, I've got the, the the crinkly wires. Okay. So what I do, so we'll have a. Um, you can see all. So if you were going to do the bracelet, you just do yourself longer longer lengths of, of the wire. So I'm going to take a take a length. Now can you see? So what I'm doing is I'm popping it next to another piece yeah so what you're looking to get is the the diamonds or the little you know yeah so the diamonds are going down so I'm going to cut these and, and just bring that in and there we go okay so I'm going to lay these out mm-hmm so you can see how that's going to sit. Yep. So it's as, it's as simple as this now. So if you get your get your 0 0.4. Yeah. And if you're going to do a single strand, so just a single row. Yeah. What you can do is you can thread them on to the 0 0.4. So I'll just do, so I'll do, I'll do three or four on here. Okay. So I'm going to thread them all on, however many you're going to do. So if you're doing your full length, you just thread, thread loads on. So we'll start off with three. So I've got those threaded onto the reel at the moment. So I'm going to pick up two of my, sort of like the base. So I'm going to line them up, okay, so get those. Now you want to leave yourself at least one full diamond to start off with, so you can turn that in and make that into a heart. So I'm going to leave a bit of a tail underneath, go over the top, bind twice, and then come up in between the centre. So I'll come up in between those crinkly wires. So I'm going to place that, so I'm just giving it a little bit of a kick out with my nail so that it sits in. Oh, Hold okay. it there, underneath, wrap over twice again, back up through the middle, middle, drop another one in and keep going like that. Oh, right, okay. So can you see how that's going to start yeah. to build up? So when it's like this, you can absolutely keep it on the reel. Yep, got you. And just drop them down. So if you imagine you did, you do. So for the earrings, I think I had four or five. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got. So I do this now. If you're building up lots of layers, you can just make lots of of these. So you just do single bars like that. When you want to make sort of so like the pendant or the bracelet. So if I just snip this off now. So if we imagine. So you can see on the bracelet there, you've got lots and lots of rows. So to do this now, I do need to cut off cut it off the reel. Okay, so I've cut that off. So if we imagine I've got lots of, of them lined up there, I'm going to add in the next one. Okay, now this time I have to cut it off the reel because the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start to bind here. So can you see, I wouldn't be able to get that reel no. through the small diamond. So I'm coming through here and again, so I'll just open that up so you can see where that's going to go. Just make sure it doesn't come out of shape too much. Pick up my next pearl thread that on so this is where it's a little bit fiddlier because you're, you're doing exactly the same so we're going to get it into position but this time we're, in, we're going into a closed shape which is this so the triangle here so I'm just coming up through there so just support it make sure it doesn't kink bring that round and then bind twice again in there Again, bring that round. It builds pretty it quickly, twice. doesn't it? Very quickly, Brilliant. yeah. Very quickly because you've, you've you know you've, you've prepped all your yeah. your structural wires to get that yep. shape because you're it's using a, a tool, so it's a you know it's a uniform shape, so you know they're all going to fit together. Really like you this. You could have a go if you needed to. You could maybe try doing it with um, chain nose pliers or, or flat nose pliers. Mm. Probably flat nose might be easier, um, but you can see how this is starting to yeah Brilliant. to build up. So do I'll do one more. Pearls, couldn't you, if you wanted to yeah, as well? Yeah, I'll that show you some other um, other examples of the technique in a minute. Ooh. So there we go. I'm just going to I'll do this one, and then I'll show you how to finish off. Because what you're going to do is you want to have somewhere to. You don't want like the little sharp ends. Okay, so you can see you just keep going. So I just keep adding in and adding in to get almost like that honeycomb effect. Okay. So when I was all done there, I could just I could just sort of like do a couple of wraps there, and I can cut that off. Nice and nice and secure, so we know yeah. it's not going to unravel. How do you come up with this idea? Um, 
Mm, clever clogs. I can't remember. I've done it for a while now. It's um, mm. the thing is, I just I love anything that is if it's with a tool. Yeah. And you put it um. And you, and you do your wire work with a tool, you know it's going to be lovely and uh, neat results, Yeah, because you're getting consistency, aren't you? Yeah. So, so now I've got, so to finish that off, so what I do is I'm going to go, I'm going to cut, so I probably might have done another one there, so we'll, I'm going to just snip off here and snip off here. So I'd, I'd have another, oh, this is fancy, isn't it? Look at that. I know. Okay, so what I'm going to do on one of them is, so I've got my round nose pliers now, so I'm going to take that, so I'm going to grip in, and I'll hold it up as well so you can see. Yeah. So I'm just going to take that and turn in. Oh, oh, sorry, my elbow. Um, it slipped, did it, did Yeah, it did. And I'm just going to go in on that side as well. Is that just like just to finish it off and yeah, sort of sharp edges? Yes, yeah, but it also yeah. becomes a nice hanging point, so that one would, would go in there. So if I just hold that up as well so you can, That's brilliant, you can see. Can you see on there? So you've got... Ooh. So you've got there. But you can see how, if you've got... If I show you these ones, can you Lovely. see? That technique, so it's great with shell pearl as well, but lovely, oh, lovely with those... Up, look, look, let me see. Look at these ah, coming beautiful. up to yeah. We've got so a you could wicked do, deal on these coming up in a minute. You could do that. Yeah. Because they're so uniform as well, so you get a very different result. Could you do it with those bigger ones? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it just stands prouder. You can see just the, the effects. Because they're 8 mil. They're coming up in a, as a star buy in about five minutes. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's good look, isn't it? I really like those. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And, it, and it's very... Um, although it's strong, you can, you know, you can shape it as well. Yeah. So you can see you've got a nice, lovely, nice curve on there as well. Yeah. So there you go. Like it. She gets a round of applause. Yeah, thanks. thanks very much. Thanks for being my lovely assistant. It's all right. I'm sorry that I was naughty and pulled oh, the wire off and out. Yeah, that's funny. She just, she just, it was there. You know, you just want to go. Whoop. So I did. I wasn't. I, I didn't think you'd do that, so I wasn't prepared. So it's no, a good, okay. good trick. I didn't think I was going to do it myself, and then I thought, hmm? why not? Whoop. Just oh. watch out now for the next mm -hmm. hour. Um, I must just mention, because I have put it on Facebook, now could we, are we allowed, shall we, could we, can we... Okay, at seven o'clock we'll put this on pre-order. Now then, I have a stunning strand of super rare mm -hmm. collector's sphene. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, do you know what? You don't often get eye clean sphene. Mm. They're, normally, they're normally included. Very rare do you ever see an eye clean gemstone. I don't know about you. What time magnification are we? 20 times magnification at the minute. I don't know about you. They're not looking very included to me. So they're looking high value, high quality, super collectible sphene. The only worry is if you get something that's really rare anyway and then you get the best quality of it, there aren't going to be many, are there? I've got 51. That's it. Look at that faceting as well. I know. It's beautiful. Do you know how hard it is to facet a sphene as well? Most lapidaries won't is even it? try it, yeah. Because it's, it's, um, before it's faceted, it can be quite brittle. So they, a lot of people, yeah. a lot of lapidaries just will yeah. not risk it. Not on such a rare gemstone. They just That's won't incredible. even try. They won't even attempt. So you're talking about the elite of the lapidaris world as mm. well, working on that. So everything about that reeks rarity, collectability, and quality wise. But I've only got 51, but we'll put them on pre-order because we just think, ah, oh, why not? Put them on pre-order at seven. I'm going to let you look at it. Oh, thank you. But I need it back. Yes, I will, I promise, I promise. Where'd you put that diamond? Oh, I took it off because I did a fake tan, so I took it off. I and thought you were coloured more. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite yeah. orangey, aren't I? You're not orangey, you're not orangey at all. You're not orangey, but I mm. thought you were a slightly darker colour. I did think that. Where's she been? Oh. Where's she been since Tuesday? Birmingham. Was? Birmingham. Birmingham. To Birmingham. Uh, right then. So those metallic pearls. Are we gonna do one more cheeky thing and then do them? Okay. Go on then. What would you like me to do? I think that one, Podding. Oh. Frankie Poppet. Thank you. We have got, we have got some lovely, lovely new charms. Now they, I'm not going to show the North Star or the, all the snowflakes. I'm going to show you, a bit like Claire McDonald, who's a bit of a cracker. 
<laughs> oh, did he say crackers? Uh, Wayne, yes, I said a cracker. Wayne, we have not worked together long enough yet. Thank you. He said crackers. Leah said a crackpot. It's not very nice, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I said you're a cracker in a good way. They're not nice. And the thing on. is, I've worked with Leah for about what Shocking. three years, so Shocking. she has got a yeah. She knows, doesn't she? So silver plated, you get ten of each. These are lovely. A lovely cracking cracker. A proper Christmas cracker. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, we've got a special saving on these as well. We've also got these gorgeous snowflake charms. They're lovely, aren't they? Well, we were saying these are lovely ways of making either decorations for the tree and then wine turning glass, them into wine glass, wine glass, char yeah. glass charms. Yeah. 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 And the little envelopes that we do as well, you know, yeah. those are really special. So if you're going to put, say, money in something like yeah. that. Attach a little pair yeah. of earrings as a gift, yeah. send it through the post. Mm. Or hang those as earrings on the tree with the mm. shepherd hook as the, as, and then give them as the gift. Oh, you know, like nice. when you have chocolate yeah. and chocolate coins on the tree. <gasps> you could lovely. go posh, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, I bought you all them last year, didn't I? You all had them. You had Belgian chocolate. Oh, can you? Are you doing it again this year? You know, I had enough off me I this week. Think, I, don't think I, I don't think I had them last Christmas. What was that? What did you have? Did you? <gasps> they were Belgian chocolate as well, they were posh. Oh. I'll get you some this year. Okay. So, ten snowflakes, ten... Wow. Did he agree that when I wasn't there, the managing director? That's 25% that's off. That's 25% off. That takes it down to, well, effectively... They're a pound each, aren't they? No, I'm talking rubbish. That's not right. 50p? I think it's 50p. My brain's working. Don't, don't ever ask Claire maths. <laughs> She'll look at you blankly. <laughs> Northern Star, am I right, 50p? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but you've got the calculator. <laughs> I've just got my little head. I've got my little brain. Maybe Wayne is like the male equivalent in the maths world. Do you think? Me, yeah, maybe. He's going to 30 pounds, but they're not. <laughs> they're 50 p. Are they? Oh. How many are there? That's what I have to put up with. I bet everybody at home is going, Wayne, it's 50 p. <laughs> 49. <laughs> <laughs> But what's your favourite? Mine's the crackers. I, I love these. Oh, ones. you like I the do, Northern yeah, Star? I do like those ones. I do like those. They are lovely, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we like the crackers. I do like the crackers. But because we've got so many different ones, and I'll tell you what I've got coming up. I've got stockings. I've got, I tell you what, could I borrow the, uh, the silver plated ones? Because I'll just show you, look. Because if we are talking wine glass mm. charms, we've got crackers, we've got snowflakes, we've got stock. Yeah, the silver ones pop it, they're gold. Oh, sorry. Oh, dear. I feel like you're surrounded. <laughs> Thank you, Poppy. I love you. She can do no wrong in my eyes. I don't care what she does. Oh. Now then, I've also got... Now, think of wine glass charms. Let's say normally you'd have six or eight wine glasses, yeah, wouldn't you, in yeah, a set or four. Yeah. Just going to quickly show you these as well. We've got Christmas trees. These are all coming up. Got Christmas trees. Look at we the detail on oh, them look as look at the star well. on the yeah. top. Look really at lovely. Christmas trees. Holly. Sprig of holly. Yeah. Bells. Haven't finished yet. Got some more. These are all coming up. Think of wine glass charms. You can make so many gifts. And you reuse the little matrix, matrix boxes with the six. Mm. Yeah. Stockings. I love that one. And the little is that the little snowman? Yeah. The little snowman. And I'm finished. I've got a present. So I don't know about you. I make that nine different charms mm. in silver yeah. plate. Yeah. Any Christmas present? Got the detail. They're lovely, aren't they? Aren't they? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home tonight, and if there's any left, I'm going to buy one of mm. each of these. I'm going to make wine glass charms, because I think they're what a great gift. We do, we're doing some of them in gold plate as well. Or gold colour. Gold, 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 gold colour. Um, yeah, it's for, now they should have been 19 Can you 25% live show saving? 49p. 49p? So, like, if it's a set of six wine glasses, it's going to cost you £3, isn't it? So, if you did, if it was earrings as well, then? Yeah. I'm just thinking... Just one little, little pearl on the... Yeah, yeah, sorted. Mm -hmm. Well, when you say little put, you could just literally hang those off the shepherd hooks, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you so could do. Yeah. Shepherd hooks, yeah. job done. Yeah, I think they're lovely. Yeah. I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Quick some of those. Yeah. Um, right then. So, um, can I put those there just yes, for one second, darling? Absolutely. Now, again, I've been a bit disruptional. 
Because we were going to do these at quarter to ten, and I said to my to my producer, I went, I won't wait not long. I said, no, they're too nice, let's do them early. So we, he said, oh, go on then, woman. He's learning just to do his sister. <laughs> so, love you, thanks. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give you two lots of metallic sharp holes. <laughs> it's going to be one of them nights tonight, I'm telling you. We're going to have such a giggle. Oh, dear, my stop. Your only Tommy's actually hurting already from laughing. It's going to be like that, Claire. Doesn't she look attractive tonight? She walked in and said, you look so pretty. Oh, thanks. Don't, don't hide. Look at the camera. Thank you. Look at the camera. No, I'm embarrassed Go on, now. look at the camera. Look no. up. No. Look up. No. Look at no. Oh, no, no, don't do that now, don't. <laughs> she looks Go beautiful. She looks beautiful. Thank you. You do look beautiful. Thanks very much. Thank you. Can you stop it, though? You make me look rubbish. <laughs> you don't. You look lovely. You Can are... I say it now, though? <gasps> it just sounds really false. Well, yeah. Look. <laughs> no, look at, look at the, look at the colours of the iridescence. I can see. Oh. I can see. That's incredible. Oh! The quality of our um, shell pearl is, is fabulous, oh, isn't that, it? That, Absolutely fabulous. I'm going to say it. Sorry, I don't want to be. I don't want to be disrespectful to any of the shell pearl we've ever mm. had on the show, apart from the purple wrinkled ones last night, which I loved and never seen it before. Oh, we had wrinkled. Have you seen them? Purple wrinkled shell pearls. You know, like, like when you get out of the bath and you've been dimpled. It's like that. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. We're going to get some more. Those are my favourite shell pearl we've ever done. That's incredible, I'm just saying it. it. So what is that? Metallic black? Yeah. Wow. Aren't they stunning? Look. These are gorgeous. Oh, do you know what? You're not even seeing the iridescence we've got in the studio. Oh, my word. They're my favourite. And mm. if you put it with these as well, look. So you've actually got metallic um, black and metallic silver. And we're getting both of them. When you see the price, you'll be knocked out. I've only got 100, though. I'll check out. No. E K X E sixty seven check out check out if you want them those are stunning those are you get those are just everyday mm. shell pearls aren't they? Meta wow yeah that's, baby that's that's crazy isn't it? Isn't it Looking how lovely it go with your outfit today. Would, well that but that would go with everything. Everything isn't it? absolutely everything. Everything you've got every single thing. And, you've the, got. and the wonderful thing with um with with your shell pearl is you know you think about so so the um this sort of design so when you want it you want your um your wires to go yep. through it because of the drill hole yeah um it's going to be larger than your, exactly your, you know other sorts mm. of pearls mm -hmm. so it's, it's so workable yeah. so so workable i just wish i could get this iridescence to come through but the lovely thing is you haven't got to sit down and go oh she would say that wouldn't she you've got a 30 day money back guarantee don't take me at my word get them the, what i'm what are the two colors coming through on the top of those i'm getting pinks and teals pinks Thank and you. green pink, yeah. pink and green yeah. absolutely now then um because i've got people like Deborah having two, Wendra having two, Susan having two, B having three, Collector and Gloucester having three, everybody having two and three. Mm. Um, that's good. We, we nearly half the stock has gone already. That's how quick they're going. Uh, we had some metallic silver pearls on the show, silver shell pearls on the show with Mark Smith last night. They sold out instantly. Mark was saying that at the end of his Carrier B DVDs and the CB DVDs and the Bugle mm. bead, he uses these as like the little knot as opposed oh, to a knot to go through yes. the loop and that's yes. how he finishes the designs oh, off so yeah. they're ideal for well, that especially, as well especially this strand here that's going to go amazing. with all of your different um, oh, seed beads yeah, isn't it? I totally agree I just, can you, you're not getting the iridescence up through the camera are you? it's because of the way the cameras are designed they're designed to take that kind no, you're not getting it but take mine and Claire's word for it if you, if you would green and pink somebody would like to know how many on a strand Claire, yeah. would you count and I'll count? Oh, now, yeah. we're going to go quiet because I can't count when Claire's counting. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, that is a challenge. Oh. 51. Did, have you seriously just started? Yes, because someone said something. 51 I've got on mine. Sorry, Claire's just had to start again. 32. 26. I don't know, the same then. Right, come here. I've <laughs> got, I've played her on 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 51 on both. Hey, 102. 
Oh, These, they, oh. they are the, honestly, yeah. they, those Incredible. metallic black are the best I've ever had for iridescence. No two ways about it. I, I tell you now, if you love your stretches, my loves, mm. and you love your iridescence, those metallic, the metallic silver's great, but the metallic black, mm. uh, excuse me, you've that got my lovely. bracelets on. I know, I have. You've got my bracelets mm. on. You've got exactly the same bracelets as me. Yeah. Look, she's got the same. Oh. Bracelet twins. Oh, a bit like Joey and Chandler in Friends. They were bracelet yeah. friends. When she... Bracelet friends. But yeah, they, I mean, Incredible. honestly, they are. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the silver's nice, but the black. Mm. Why do you? I'm going to choose because you get both. Okay, 17 remaining. I told you they'd go quick, didn't I, Pasco? I said, I know our audience, they're going to have the lot. Um, you know, feel free to leave me five. <laughs> I, I'd like about at least five of those because that's just going to be, that's going to, I mean, that is, that is, um, that's stretchy heaven. Mm. Isn't it, Claire? It is. Stretchy heaven. Yeah, and I'd be, I don't be tempted because you're going to get what a couple of stretches. Be tempted to, do? to have like, a, to do like a big cuff style with it. To oh, have all that like iridescence. Those, yeah. yeah. Yeah, or just in the one or... Well, you could do the same, couldn't you? So you could have it, you mm. could have like, I think I'd have the, I'd multi buy and have the black as the, as as the, the dominant yes, colour. Yes, I, I agree. Would. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just mention to collector Linda Bell and Kev, collector Angus, Dorothy, collector Michelle, Janet, those of you with the basketeers, how many left? Fifteen. Fifteen. Who's got a headache? Oh, has Lucy got a headache? Well, she, that's because she works with me. <laughs> <laughs> Were you laughing at Pascal? Charming, did you hear? Do you know what, everybody? You know, I don't mind taking the mickey out of myself. You don't have to laugh quite like I said it's because she works with me. And my director, my producer went, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do you know, this is why I had to go to the doctor. I had to go to the doctors today. I said, I'm traumatised. Oh, no. I'm traumatised. What, from said, working with Yeah, us? I said, all I ever do is have the mickey taken out of me. I feel like I'm diseased. You know, honestly, they're, they're, I think I think I think this blood moon's affecting everybody. Are you are you gonna now? If you now, if you nip out with us at the break at nine o'clock, you've got to come straight back in. Mm. Don't leave us, will you? For goodness' sake, don't leave me. Don't leave me on my own. Don't leave me this way. <laughs> right then, are there any left? Are there any left? <laughs> Five chances. I knew that. I'll tell you what, you will, you will love those. In fact, would one of you message in and tell me what you think? I know you can't see them, but when you get them home and you see that one with all the iridescence, with mm. the pinks and the, and the greens, will you just one of you pop a message onto my Facebook page, presenter Zena Broadbent, and tell me what you think? I'll be really interested. Or you could message... Oh, oh yeah, charm bracelets mm. with the crackers. Yeah. Nice. Is that sold out? Two left. Is that, is that literally how many there are? <laughs> Two left. Look at that though, the little quacker. I like these ones because I, I like all the, um, I like all the detail. Well. Thank you. <laughs> do you know what I would do? <laughs> Love you, Emma. Do you know what I would do? Now, bear with me on this, sorry. I would, if you manage to get those, I would treat myself. Oh. Oh, no. I would treat myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, it's hard work here, isn't it? Tommy Cooper and Lapton <laughs> never had to wait for this. His, his yeah, sound effects were there, man. It's not on. <laughs> Do you get it? Beautiful. Do you get it, though? I've got to say, I think that's the most detailed charm we've had. Mm. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Because, can you see that there's a little star at the top? And the great thing is, 
a lot of layers and like, it's yeah. like tinsel or baubles, it's, isn't it? It's, tell you what, some of these really nicely decorated. Mm. That 49p again. You're getting holly, you're getting the bells. The jingle bells, and you're getting trees. Ten trees. They're lovely, aren't they? Mm. You could make little Christmas bookmarks, little Christmas. Yeah. I think earrings would just look lovely. Yes, yeah. Because I, I, I keep saying this, I've got a little box of um, Christmas earrings that my late mum left me, but they're all the little tacky, plasticky ones, mm. and I just don't like them, I'll be honest. I'll wear them, you know, but these are a bit posher, aren't they? So you could have a different pair of earrings. I mean, how many sets we've got here? Three, six, nine? Yes, yeah, so you could wear like a different a different pair nearly every day, couldn't you? Yeah, you could, yeah. Or yeah. even put, put a couple on each, couldn't you? Yeah. Or, no. You wouldn't put a couple on each? No. Well, don't mix me food on a fork, so I'm not going to mix me <laughs> earring jars. Do you I'm not? Like, oh, no. So oh, no. I don't mix me food. Oh, if no. If you have a dinner, a roast yeah. dinner. So I'd have my meat, then I'd have my veg, then I'd have my potato. Yeah. Do you? Um, so you wouldn't like get a bit of... Roast potato and a bit of Ooh, no. cauliflower cheese. No, no, all separate. I like to taste eats food on its own. Well, gravy's not a food, is it? It's the sauce. Do you do that? I don't think that's weird. Do you do that, Emma? I, do that I, I, like, I like to taste each thing on its own for its yeah. flavour. Excuse me. I don't want to mix it up. <laughs> all right. Do, do, do. Do you know what I like to do with a roast dinner? If you've got some left over for the, for the next day, Bob's just great. like mash it up and eat it with a spoon. Mm. I wouldn't know that Claire makes the best roast. Awkward. I have a star by of beautiful amber. Stunning it. I've got to say, look at the inclusions in mm. there. They're really quite impressive, aren't they? They're really locked in there, good and proper. This beautiful design, beautifully set in sterling silver. I've got the last few chances on this. In fact, I'm going to put it out there. I've got 100 at less than £10. Wow. Oh, yeah. We've popped it on pre-order for you. I see GY75. I see GY75. And that is going to be your star buy in just a few minutes. Ooh. Right, do you want the last few charms in the silver, in the silver plate? I, honestly, I think these are the nicest charms we've ever mm, done for Christmas. They're brilliant. I really do. And in these quantities as well. Yeah, 10 of each, so you get 30. I'm going to start with the present, actually, because, again, mm. the present's beautifully gift-wrapped. And double-sided as well, look. Yeah, watch this. You'd expect that to just be on the front. <gasps> no, the gift wrap goes all the way around, as it would. Wouldn't it? So these should have been 19.95. We've managed to take 25% off for you as the live show prize today. The saving. He's got a lovely hat on, hasn't he? Mm. He's been well-dressed, that snowman. You can leave your hat on. You can leave. Oh, that was such a good film. It was, uh, yeah, it was brilliant. Great song as well by our lovely Tom Jones. Brilliant. Mm. <laughs> you can leave. Sexy song, isn't it? Yeah. He is, though, isn't he? Tom Jones. Oh, he is sexy, isn't lovely. he, Tom Jones? It's that voice, isn't it? <gasps> I love him. You've got to remember we're a bit older than you, Lou. Mm. Have you seen the stocking? Did I show it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, we've been a bit rude here tonight. It's not past the watershed. We're talking about you can leave your hat on and let, now we're on stockings. <laughs> Dear me, it's a bit shocking, isn't it? Yes, but there you go. Yes, yeah, so a lovely stockings. You get ten of each. And then it takes each of these lovely festive charms, silver-plated uh, stockings, Christmas present and snowman charms, to 49p. You yes, could do with the, uh, with the stockings. The, yes. uh, you could do your resin with those, couldn't you? Or your serolin. If you do like to put it onto a could. sticky back. Um, you could, so you could do like your your red and your mm. your white. Right, tell you what, we're just racing through these. Oh, I hadn't thought to stack them like that. That's a good idea. Oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. So it's the same set as the silver, but the gold. Mm. Thank you, Poppet. So when I work, I've mixed them up. Yeah, you're a rebel. 
I did. I mixed them up on there. See, I thought they looked really nice together. Because I like mixing mixing the metal. So, oh, um, yeah. I like that, Claire. I mix them. Uh, mix them all up. Mm. All right, Yoda. Mm. Mm. Mix them up, I did. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they look really pretty. So you just put them on a little bit of it, like extender chain. Yeah, on the chain that we yeah. get um, in the findings packs Brilliant. and some of the um, jump rings. Yeah, great. So they're simple. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mm -hmm. um, so Christmas crackers. So you might fancy doing two tone. You got your theme might be gold. Your, your colour scheme, yeah. Might be, is yours? Is yours? What colour is your Christmas sort of theme? Do you change it or have you got? It's a rainbow. Rainbow, is it? Ooh. Yeah. We should have like a uniform, a, a unicorn. Beautiful. It's like no black. Like, really you can bright. leave your hat on. <laughs> it's bright colours. It's not like pastels. It's really bright rainbow Ooh, colours. Lovely. Yeah. Do you dress up as a unicorn then? Uh. Oh, I've got some unicorn pajamas, actually. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, gold coloured crackers, snowflakes. I love the snowflake and the Northern Star. Thirty charms, forty-nine p each. Very festive code WCXC01 or zero one actually. And then I'll show you the last set in the gold colour. Which again is the, thank you Claire, the uh, Christmas presents, the snowmen and the stockings. So again, just to prove exactly the same, same size, same shape, same designs. That's Claire sorry, fiddling. Sorry, I just wanted to see, yeah, you could do that, couldn't you? Because they're, um, they're so well, uh, you know, that you could do swap them like... <laughs> yeah, oh, that's idea. a good you know idea. What I mean? like that. <laughs> Look, so he's off the chimney. They're... Yeah, so you turn him over as well. Like, like a wire chimney. Yeah. And have him coming down the chimney. Well, you could do his body and then little dangly feet, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's so yeah. good. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's Because really they're lovely, lovely yeah. quality, so you can do that, yeah. But you could set them as earrings like that. Yeah. One, you yeah. know, left and right foot. Little polymer clay chimney. Yeah, that'd that's be a good. great idea. So, gold colour, presents, ten of them. Ten of the snowmen. we walking in the air. Da 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 Now I want to go home and watch Polar Express. I've got a yearning to go home and watch Polar Express now. I don't now. think I've ever seen oh, it. Oh, it's brilliant. Is it? Oh, it's such, it's so good. I think anywhere where Tom Hanks is doing the voiceover on a Disney thing, mm. I'm, I'm in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's wonderful. Yeah, it is good. Other films are obviously available. Mm. What's your favourite Christmas? What's the Christmas film that you have to watch every year? Muppets. The Muppets. Yeah. Muppets Christmas Carol. Yeah, I love that. And um, love actually, I love that. Oh. Mine's Bridget Homer Jones. Knows. Bridget yeah. Jones. Mine's um, Scrooge the Musical with Albert Finney because I love it. And um, Slipper in the Rose. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. Mm. Oh the oh. Slipper in the Rose. Oh with Richard Chamberlain. Gemma Craven, it's it's the musical, it's the musical film of of from Cinderella. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it oh, is. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. He was Just, very handsome, wasn't, wasn't he? Gorgeous mm. in that. Oh, and men in them sort of tight yeah. trousers and the boots. Oh. <laughs> really good. Gemma Craven, she's beautiful in it. Costumes are wonderful. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And the Godmother's great, and mm. the ugly sister, the naughty Everything, sisters yeah. are all the step ones. Yeah. great. Yeah, that's just brilliant film. Step in the rose. I've got it on DVD. We can, you can, we'll have a girly mm. night. Oh, Sorry, yeah. Wayne. Poor Wayne. I've just realised he's the only man in here. There's me, there's Claire, there's Emma, there's Luce, there's Leah, and there's just Wayne Ooh. in the whole building. <laughs> oh, you could be in trouble. <laughs> You could be, actually, no, thinking about you and what we've heard, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> right then. I'm joking, he's lovely, he's really lovely, he's fitted in great. Uh, right then, star bye. <laughs>
Well, normally, normally they're a negative, but as in amber, they're not. They're an absolute mm. must-have. The more inclusions, the more history you've got locked away in your time capsule. So it's it's a it's a it's a it's a. We're desperate for inclusions in our amber. It's what we're looking for. It's the mm. feature, isn't? And I like that because that makes it different to the majority of. Well, it's not a gemstone. Obviously, it's a, it's a fossilized resin. But that's what makes amazing, it so different. It? And look at the way it's been captured. And sort of, it caressed. There's no other way. That has been caressed in silver. No other way I can word it. Dramatic inclusions there. And it makes you, it really makes you think about what they could be. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. When we think about. That's what was alive on our planet, you know, 44. That's the wonderful thing, isn't it, with amber, though? It makes you stop and think yeah. and... So that's, that's what was there long before mm. we were even a possibility. We weren't even a life... That's what I find incredible about amber. We weren't even a life form on this planet. Mm. It's crazy, We weren't yeah. here. It's mind-blowing. No human beings were here, and now we get to wear it. Mm. That's just magical history. It's, 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 it's mind-blowing, actually, to think, really, isn't it? And yet what I like about it is it doesn't look dated or an antiquity, so to speak. It looks modern. And, and they look so amazing to wear. So the fact that you've got the history and the wearability of our planet, that's great. But they're just so pretty, let alone the fascination behind mm. them. You know, that ancient, massive, gigantic forest of huge, giant conifers that then, you know, all that sort of strict, sticky resin that ran away and captured everything in its path. Insects, little frogs, mm. animals. There might be little bits of dodo in there. A bit of dinosaur in there. there. I quite like, yeah. They found a, they found a, a snake. Yeah. 105 million years old. I've got mm -hmm. the. I'll have a look at the info in the break. 105 million year old snake in one. See that? Just that is just too much for my little brain. I know. It like makes it want to explode. Yeah. yeah. Pop. Pop. No, I think pendant earrings charm. Well, this that is, size is ideal for is, all it? of them. Yeah. 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 Look at that. I still can't believe we can get any of our amber pieces under ten pounds. Not one. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't really. Wow. Do you know, if you don't mind me saying, it shouldn't really be. Genuinely, I know we talk about this all the time, and we always go, "Oh, isn't it great?" We think it's funny and whatever. But I generally don't think amber should be bought at less than ten pounds. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm as grateful as you are that we do, but it's not right, really. See, I'm seeing that now as you know, like um. It, say if you've got, which is wrong, I know, but you know, like on the back of something, you know, if you did made, I know, but at that price, you know, like a, like a fancy dropper at the back or say you knotted your pearls or something, at that sort of price, I feel ashamed of myself, you don't need to I look at me it. like that. Shame but at that, at that price, you could have it as that, you know, that You're much more detail. selfless than me then, and I think I'm quite a selfless person, but I'm clearly not because, mind you, because then everybody behind you gets to see it. But, but it's things like, it is, it's beautiful details like Bridal, that. Right, I agree, because you're that, looking at the rear, rear view a lot. But I also think if you've got that piece of jewellery and you know from, from start to finish, every detail is so beautiful, so perfect. So if you've got amazing pearls and if you have, yeah, I would I see from the start like, I like the idea. to I the finish. I just... But I mean, at that, at that sort of price, um, because that is, that is, you know, a comparison with, say, our... Uh, just char just sterling silver charms that mm. have nothing else on them. Yeah. That's that's those sort of prices that you would do. I actually that think with. it's a lovely idea. I'm just playing you. Oh yeah. Would yeah. you like to see it as an earring? Mm. That's nice. You like it? Mm. Isn't it beautiful? And the lovely thing is, every single amber that you buy from us, even though the design may be the same, and they're all limited edition designs. I mean, how many of this one did we make? Does it say? I'm not sure. That's helpful. But they're all limited. They are not mass produced. A little bit like amber, not mass produced. And it's mm. not being produced at all anymore. 
That's what I think is really scary. I and mean, that's going to run out soon. Yeah. That will run yeah. out. Are you thinking I with am. this feed? I am thinking with that, yeah. Look. Just quickly show it you with the spheme because we think that is the most magnificent. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, we'll put the spheme on pre order in five minutes, okay? Yeah. We've just got. How oh. many? Oh. This is you, isn't it? It's me all over. I think we've only got three. Sorry. But what a three it is. And it would go lovely with that Baltic candle we've just had, wouldn't it? Yeah, and the Sphine. Yeah, and the Sphine. Yep, Claire's quite right. But you've got amazing, amazing chrome dark side there. So if you had that with your pendant of the amber, that would it look lovely. Mm -hmm. It really would look high-end. 25 stunning carrots. And you'll see with the price point as to why we've only got three left. Sorry, one left. Goodness me. Goodness gracious me, we've managed to get... Chrome diopside under twenty pounds. Mm, that's amazing. Yeah, and it is genuine Russian Siberian beauty locked in that strand. L beautifully faceted, way over allocated. Obviously, way over allocated. So Rosemary, my goodness me, Tatiana, my lovelies, Wendy in Devon, Sandra in Leicestershire. In fact, there's one left. Suzette, congratulations. Tanya, uh, Tatiana, I do apologise, Tatiana. There's me changing your name for you, my lovely. Uh, Wendy, Rosemary, Collector, Sandra, Collector, you're all going after the last one. Gone. Sold out. Oh, congratulations. Beautiful. Steel deal. Steel deal, my lovelies. Well done. Congratulations. I think everybody's loving the greens. So mm. that bodes well for the spin because the Moldavite's sold out. Chrome Dark sold out. Yeah. Yeah, so you're liking the greens. Um... Uh, are there any kits left, by the way? So there are kits left. Okay, there are kits left. They should have been twenty-seven ninety-five. We took them to nineteen ninety-five. Twenty-five percent off all the Christmas charms so far as well, just tonight. And then join us after the break because we will put that fifty-one limited edition Spine Strand on pre-order. <laughs> Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and jewelry maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. 
If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Poor Lucy, I've just thrown so I didn't mean to actually throw it at you like a frisbee. Like, Hello! It's the weekend and we might have rain. Yay! I'm so excited that it's gonna rain. I'm gonna get are you gonna go and stand out in it? I am. I'm gonna go and stand out when it rains in the rain and get wet. Oh yeah. Free shower, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, my lovelies, we have got a lovely treat for you coming up. Well, lots of treats. Um, we have got some blue brilliant cut diamonds as a star buy. Now, I've got this lovely ring that I believe Alice and Tarry made, who was on the show this morning. Hello, Alice and Tarry. Now, our producer on the morning show today, this is her actual ring. Her actual ring. She lent it to us with a blue diamond in it. And we're going to give you the star buy of the brilliant cut blue diamonds coming up for you in... Oh, you changed the time, have you? It's so a half an hour, yeah? OK, no problem. No, it's OK. We, we can change things. It's OK. Half, half past. OK, half past. Blue diamonds. Um, we've also got the Sphene. Now, the Sphene is going on pre-order. Is it? You've done it now. OK, I must just mention, last time we had Sphene, it went very, very quickly indeed. And it's only the second time, to my knowledge, this year that we've had it. I, we didn't recall having it last year, but... Uber rare, Sphene. Uber rare. So, 12 and a half carats of faceted sphene, limited edition of 51 chances only. And the code for you to pre order is LTJN64. And I have 51 chances available to own this super rare, stunning collectible gemstone. And I've got to say, the quality is off the scale. It is incredible to get to get clarity like that because again, inclusions are expected. You don't expect to see eye clean sphene. Those are rare indeed. Uh, on pre-order, fifty-one, and they're going already. Fifty-one chances only. Now, something that's going to go beautifully with your sphene. If you want to add something to it, it does look beautiful on its own. Black pearls. Black pearls. Now imagine that. Sphene with black pearls. Couldn't get much better than that, could we? How magnificent do, do they look together? They do, don't they? Oh, yes. That's like George Clooney and Amal together. Stunning. They do make a good looking couple, don't they? They do, don't they? And still going back to, I'm still Jennifer Aniston and Brad. Sorry, that's got to happen again. You know, talk about perfection, them two. I also have my uh, producers found for, for us on the show tonight a lovely strand of zircon. A really lovely strand of stunning zircon on the show. They look lovely together as well, don't they? So... Earlier on, we had that great kit, didn't we? The festive kit with the pearls. We had uh, red pearls, we had green pearls, we had white pearls. Now we're going to add black pearls into the mix as well. Oh, I thought they were 9 95 and you've turned the 9 upside down. Oh, well done, 
they? Lovely. So, nice size these, I think. Very wearable, very versatile for kind of any kind of jewellery. Single strand, double strand, triple strand, choker, layered, channel set, single solitaire, trilogy, bracelet, stacker bracelet, I mean, you, you, earrings, the list goes on. There's literally done a piece of jewellery. The, every piece of jewellery you want to make with those is going to work, isn't it? And I tell you what, I wouldn't be scared about putting those with those metallic shell pearls earlier. I think there, are, I think there is one of those left. That's it. So if you were trying to check out the double strand, the two strand, one of the metallic black, one of the metallic silver, with the brilliant iridescence, I think it's the best strand of shell pearls I've seen uh, to date on Jewelry Maker. There is one left, and they were 6 95 for two. These are the real deal. These are genuine pearls. Lovely, lovely size. Four by five mil, just a cute size. Oh, I tell you what, we like that split screen, don't we? It looks good, doesn't it? Do you like it? I like that. Because you get to see it, up, you get to see it being worn, and then you get a close-up in the other screen. I do like that. Again, lovely iridescence, beautiful iridescence. I'll tell you what. Let me show you these as well together. Now look at these together. I just think size-wise, because they're the same. Have you changed the graphics, hon? Black pearls and purple. Now, I, I know it's a little way off till Halloween. You know, but we'll be thinking about Halloween makes, won't we? I love Halloween. I like Halloween. I think I might, I keep, do you know, are we, I don't know if we're working Halloween. If we're not, I'm going to have a party this year. Can we check? Cause I don't think we are working Halloween, you know. I'm just checking with me things. We've got a fancy party. I can make me a little playlist of my Halloween songs, because I, I love me Ghostbusters and Thriller. Yeah. So, do you like them together, though, the black and the purple? Very, I think it's very sexy. I'm quite vampish. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we've done the black pearls, 6 95 we're doing the purple ones the same, the same price because they're, you know, just a lovely striking purple. And I, I tell you what, again, if you want to match those with some lovely amethyst, go well, don't they? Don't worry, we can have a pre or post Halloween party. Because you don't always want it on the day, do you? No, of course we don't. Hmm. Oh, now we're limited on these, aren't we? Five, that's a yes. <laughs> uh, do you know what, though? I think any time we get a, a turquoise in, in a cabochon, we're excited, aren't we, no matter how few we've got. I don't know why that keeps... Sorry, my microphone cord keeps sticking out a bit weird today. Excuse me. Oh, oh I've got something stuck to my foot. Oh, got a bag. It's attractive. I was thinking, what's that? At least it's not toilet paper. It's not toilet paper. I think we've all done that, haven't we? Yeah. Mind you, I'd rather it on my foot than in my knickers. You know, your skirt or dress in your knickers. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> so embarrassing. Anyway, sorry. These are all things we just dread, don't we? Now then. Guaranteed for... Turquoise from the United States of America. Now they are something else, aren't they? How bright they are. How fascinating they are. And I wouldn't mind. Is that like eight pounds something each? Eight pounds seventy-three. Now can I just check? You're gonna tell me they're natural next, aren't you? Oh, blimey. All right, my lovelies. Do you fancy getting, and I must just say, there are certain gemstones where if you find that they are natural, they impact on the value of the gemstone massively. I like Burmese sapphire, Salon sapphire. If you can get United States of America turquoise in whopping great big sizes like that, and they are natural, that massively affects your, the value of your turquoise. Big turquoise and a guaranteed selection of oval sizes and a guaranteed four 
So it's not one of those where we say, oh, we don't tell you how many you're going to get. You are going to definitely get four. Shall I just give you the idea? If I just put a three of them down and show you the idea of the size of solitaire turquoise ring you could be making. Pretty impressive. And I'm hiding a little bit of, as well. A big solitaire turquoise, whether that be a, a pendant. Hello, Alan in Yorkshire. That's where my granddad and my nana from. Yorkshire. Pardon? No. Yorkshire. Granddad Eric. Eric. He was like me, he hadn't got a volume control. He was really noisy. Like, all right, granddad. All right, all, all right, granddad. <laughs> I think that's where I've got it from because I was competing with him all the time. Anyway, uh, right then, so um, collectors come in on those, obviously, at that price point. They are completely natural. Turquoise, by the way, um, is going up and has been for the last, oh, goodness me, um, I think it's, what year are we in now? 2018. Between, for the last three to five years, at year on year, if you go to the Tucson, Arizona um, gemstone trade fair, which is a massive gemstone trade fair, every single year the turquoise has gone up in price. Every single year. Not many of those left. There are many left. Um, right glittery ball. Oh, Alan, well done. Right glittery bauble over there. Isn't it weird how some men just... Oh, look at that, see? Glittery bauble. What's that? Has the reindeer fainted? What's the reindeer? Is the reindeer looking for inspiration at Jewelry Maker? What's he doing? Lucy, Sorry. have you seen your reindeer? <laughs> Can you just grab him? Is he all right? Can we just check he's actually all right? I'm a bit worried about it. Is he all right? Come here. Oh, he's better, yes. Is he all right? Let's, 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 let's put him there, because he, he didn't look very happy, did he? Look how like he'd fell out with us, didn't he? He looked like he'd fell out with us. There you go, that's all right. That's a bit better. Is it me or does he look a bit like a camel? <laughs> he looks his body shaped a bit like a camel. Anyway, I digress. Oh, don't. I hate that. I, I really oh, don't he's like so the owl. Cute. No, he scares me, the owl. He scares me. <laughs> No, I don't like the owl. He's not... I don't think he's... Oh, just quickly, Philippa, Alan, congratulations on the turquoise. There are two left. There are two left. The owl's like the owl in um, Bagpuss. Look at that. They always look so expensive, amethyst, don't they? Zambian and amethyst. Because of that rich purple. They always look like a really, really expensive gemstone. And most places they are. Just seems a jewelry maker that seems to bock the trend. We graduate that beautifully for you as well, so it is already in a necklace layout design. Do you know, I have really changed my feelings about the colour purple because of this gemstone, and I really mean that genuinely. Prior to working at Jewelry Maker and Gemporia, you can ask any of my friends and family, if anybody bought me anything purple, scarf, clothing, knickers, don't care, I, I took it back to the shop. Couldn't bear, I couldn't bear purple. I mean, like an aversion, like I was allergic to purple. Now, I love it. And the borders, I've got three borders in my garden, two in the back, one in the front. What, what's, the, what's the main colour of the plants I've planted? Purple. Purple. Never thought that would have happened. And it's because of amethyst. I'm, I'm saying it now. My total turnaround of love for this colour is because of this gemstone. And that's how magical gemstones can be. They can change your feeling. And it's, I think that sumptuousness and that there is an intoxication. It grabs you and it holds on to you. It's like a never-ending love affair. And I tell you what, aren't they, aren't they juicy and voluptuous in size? You know, like when they say people like curvaceous, you know, like a curvaceous lady. I think those amethysts are rather curvaceous. 
They're big as well, up to seven by four mil. And they are, of course, best location for this gemstone, Zambia. Would you expect anything less? And they are, of course, not one of the many fakes, not one of the many synthetics, not one of the many coloured glass. They are real. They are genuine. Why would you fake it when you could buy the real deal for 11 95 Don't make sense, does it? Does anybody else have this problem as me? What is it with paper boys and paper girls? Why can't they put the paper all the way through? Why do they leave it in the... in the hanging half in half out so it looks like you're not in? It drives me to distract... Have you got to go? You're not allowed. I used to do it and you had to push it all the way in, so people didn't... You had to push it all the way in? Well, that's what I think. You don't leave it half in half out, do you? Honestly, it's really... I don't know, but I think, it, I think it's bad because I think it makes it look like you're not in your house. Anyway, sorry. One of me bugbears. One of me bugbears. <laughs> Angela says what? Is Angela seen that have we got the message? Can we bring it on? Okay. We haven't had any messages in yet, have we? Are you keeping my audience from me? Don't you be doing that. I like a, I like a gossip. Angela's just said, I've seen the diamonds, are they real? I can't believe Angela's asked that, because she'll know they're real on Jewelry Maker. She'll know they are. She's just teasing us. She's, I tell you what, Angela, we can prove it to you, because we've got the authenticity card. Genuine blue, brilliant cut diamonds. Uh, the rock... They're, um, they are real, Angela. They are limited. I only have a small number, 45 in, fa in, fa in fact, I'll speak in English in a minute. <laughs> three mil brilliant cut rounds of blue diamonds and you get three, sweet pea. Okay. So, those, Angela, have we got them on pre-order? Have you? He's a monkey. IPDM93... Oh, I thought Carpe Diem, I found that like that. IPDM93, Angela. Some are, they're on pre-order. All right, so, yeah, they are real. Can I ask a favour? I've got a bit of a sore throat today. Can I have a little glass of milk? Aww. Mm-mm. Do you ever, who like me? I got told when I was a kid that if you drank milk, you turned into a cow, and I always think that when I drink milk. I always panic. I always panic I'm going to turn, you know, like, you know, like in Pinocchio, and they start turning into the, into the, like, donkeys, because they're telling boobs, and grow tails and ears. I always got told that you'd turn into a cow if you drank milk. Yeah. It's a wonder I've turned out like I have, isn't it? Things I got told. It's not surprising, is it? The things I got told. Um, should we do the Zircon? Lovely zircon. Oh, they're what a lovely they're like a silvery zircon, aren't they? Oh, I like those. Those are lovely, actually. Don't want to sound surprised. What do I sound surprised? Um, they're really, really pretty. What a lovely tone. They're almost gosh. What tone would you call those, actually? They're sort of um, never quite seen in that tone before. Gosh, they're absolutely fabulous. So they used to be known, um, because they've got like a diamond-like um, appearance, they used to be actually known as the Matara Diamond. Oh, Angela said, I just bought some because I'm doing a ring setting course in two weeks. Oh, my word, you're kidding me. And you're going to rock up with those blue diamonds, Angela? You are... Can you imagine what everybody's going to think when you turn up with those? Oh, she, Angela's going to be like, you're going to be... Everybody's going to be in awe of you, Angela. How amazing! You lucky girl! Angela! Rocking up to that, can you imagine? I've got some stones I'd like to sit. What are they? Blue diamonds. Says <laughs> <laughs> that we don't have our paper delivered, I fear, for their fingers with the dogs. Oh dear. Yeah, that's fair enough if you've got a dog, says it. I don't, you know, fair point, but I haven't got a dog. Well, they know because they've been delivering me paper for three years and there's no dog. 
Have you ever done that though? If you haven't got a dog, and then the postman comes, you go. Rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I'm tempted, but my postman knows me too well. <laughs> Did I tell you about the other day though? He came up to me. My postman came up to me, and he knocked on the door, and he said, "Can I ask you a question? Because there's a white BMW parked on my drive, and there's only normally my car." And the neighbours across the way are having, um, are having some building work for 10 weeks. I said, use my spare parking space. So that, they, you know, because he's got a skip on his drive. Anyway, got a long story short. Postman came up to me and he went, got a new fella. <laughs> and I said, no. Oh, he said, I went home to the wife and said, oh, shit, that lovely girl at number 10's got a new fella. I said, no, it's him over the road. He went, I'm sorry. He said, I just wanted to check. He said, I was all happy for you. <laughs> I said, Aww. no, it's his over the road. <laughs> Oh, so it was so sweet. Anyway, because you get adamantine luster in zircon, and because you get adamantine luster in, I'm talking fire, effectively, rainbow colours of fire in both gemstones, your sphene and your zircon are the perfect bed companions. They are. Michelle said, hi, ladies. My sphene from our last show turned up this week, and Zena, you are so right regarding the qualities. I compared it with my first strand. It is stunning and clear. Well, I must say, Michelle, usually Sphene is included. It's not usually eye clean. So that's why I am banging on about saying that our Sphene is absolutely superb. And I'm so glad that you've backed me up there. So thank you, sweet pea. See, I do tell the truth. I'm an honest soul. Which is, you can always tell if, I li if I'm lying, because I laugh. <laughs> I do, I'm terrible. Because I just... Because it makes me giggle when I know I'm going to laugh. I lie. It's terrible. I have a right. It's so naughty. Right then, so the Sphene is on pre-order, my lovelies, you can get it now. Right then, the Zircon, the stunning Zircon, $24.95, well done. Um, the what, sorry, puppet? He just called me darling. Ooh. Has your wife watched me yet? So you started a new job and your wife hasn't even, even had a look with who you're working with? That's not very nice, is it? What's her name? Sam. Um, where, what, um, what am I looking for again? No, but, rem ah, here. Don't worry, Lucy, I'm just having a senior moment. It's been happening with all day with everyone. <laughs> um, I'm going to query the location on these. Because I think they're of a certain location. Oh, okay. They're not the location I thought. Forty-five carats of labradorite. Oh, for goodness sake. That's, a, that's what we call a stocking filler in our Christmas in July. Which, don't worry for those of you that didn't like it, it finishes today. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I've looked, all the channels are doing Christmas in July. Everybody does it. It's, don't worry, the decorations are coming down tonight. People that don't like it can go, can go, oh. People that, that, people that did like it will go, oh. People that didn't like it will go, yes. <laughs> Mind you, we can't please everybody all the time, can we? No. No. So, I know. How many weeks is it to the real Christmas? No. How many weeks? Is it 20 something? It's got to be, hasn't it? 45 carats of lo love these lab. Look at the colour of that. That's beautiful. It's like a silvery tone, isn't it? Like a dark silver. That's adorable. Yeah, 3.95 genuine Madagascan Labradorite. Have we established how many weeks? 151 sleeps, weeks. Oh, is that when I'm going on holiday to you? How many sleeps is it? How many times have I got to go to sleep? Before I get to... It, in fact, do um, text in and let us know. Hello, Mark, in Northamptonshire. Deirdre, Monica, Josephine. Mark, you've got them well done collection. Kill. There you go, we were 21 weeks. Where the X the first... Half of this year gone. I feel like I've blinked. Do you, Emma? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's, I, think it's the, I think it's the fastest year ever. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. 
Mm, I think this year's the fastest year ever. Do you think that? Have you had that feeling? Mm. Yeah. Then we had a freezing cold winter. Then we've had a boiling hot summer like the best ever, haven't we? Goodness gracious. Um, well done, everybody. And hello, Anne. I've been John the Groats. Hello, lovely, gorgeous face. And Sarah, all the regular. Do you know, I love our late show gang. We can trust you, can't we? What would we be without you? You're all amazing. Lovely messages. Do you let me... Do you, I do like my messages. I like... I like... I like... We're nosy. We like yakking. You know that, don't you? Have you been on air yet, Wayne? Oh. You said, yeah, I have. Right then. 3.90... Oh, just quickly, mister. Have we got many of those left? The, the Labradorites at that steel deal. We've got a reasonable av availability. So keep checking out. You, you, hopefully you'll be all right. I have a cabochon. The diamonds are on pre-order. The diamonds, um, three have gone already. They're on pre-order. IPDM 93. Blue diamonds, brilliant cut. Will be a star buy in a moment. Twenty carrots. You know our new producer's got a lovely laugh. Very nice laugh, which makes up for his six ninety-five. For forty six what on earth is that? What I got a mini. Everybody excuse me, what's that? What's that? Natural picture, Jasper. I think that, do you know what I think that is? I think that's a leftover from our clearance show. Oh. Oh, oh, is that a good thing? Mark said, afternoon, girls. Hello, thundering, lightning and raining like mad here. Are you happy, though, Mark? Is that, are you happy? Because I can't, is it raining? Have we got any yet? No. No. Oh, Mark, are you happy, though? Because you haven't got to go more to the garden, have you? Pardon? What? Causing dis... Oh dear. Mind you, it is hard after you've had a, after you've had a hot spell. Everything's... It, it, the, it, the ground struggles to absorb the... Oh, I hope you're all right. I hope it's... Oh, hope you're all right. Oh, there'll be trains stopped and things, won't there? And people... Oh, I tell you what, we can't win, can we? We, you know. I hope it doesn't mean we can't see the, the blood moon as well. Hmm. I hope you're okay, Mark. I hope it's all right and it's not annoying you. So, £4.46, I think that's a clearance price, isn't it? We've obviously um, snuck in a cheeky clearance deal there for you. Why not? Natural Jasper. Um, I'll tell you what, then. In case people are getting a bit traumatised, if, if you are having rain, do stay safe, won't you? Joking aside. Um, we will bring you, and I can't believe we've got them, the loose, brilliant cut diamonds as your twinkling star boy. display box as well that's good it comes in a box now then these are proving terribly popular already not surprised because they're a good size okay oh gosh I get nervous when I pick these up <laughs> keep your eyes on them please Emma in case they could ching out my uh, catapult out my tweezers because you cannot afford to lose a blue diamond and what I will just draw your attention to when you look at them is how blue they are. It's like they're bottomless blue. Look at this. They are superb. They are really, really superb. Aren't they? Wow. And you do get three. Guaranteed. They are three mil in size. I will show you on the hand as a solitaire in, the moment, in a moment. Each one of those uh, is going to be just over 0.1 carat. 
brilliant blue. And I do think when we, when we, most of us, most of us, I'm not going to answer for everybody here, but most of us, when we, when we picture a diamond in our minds, I think most of us do picture a brilliant cut. So one of the most classical cuts for a diamond to enhance its beauty. I'll show you there, look. Nice sharp Kool-Aid, beautiful, ready to prong set, ready to set into, um, I mean, I don't, know about that. I don't know about you, but when, I see, when you see the price point, which I think is incredible, absolutely incredible for a diamond like this of this size, you could easily make a solitaire ring and a pair of earrings, or a pair of earrings and a pendant in blue diamonds. Now, I'm going to tell you something now, and I, and I wore it on air recently, actually, accidentally. Um, I have a diamond necklace that I bought, which is a, it is, granted it's in platinum, Platinum either side and a platinum chain. However, the diamond, I'll have to check it, but it's probably similar size, if not the same. Tiny little point, point I won't say tiny, but I think it's a, in fact, can I show it on the neck and then I'll know if it's about right. Oh, I wore it the other, earlier on in the week, on air. I reckon it's the same size, you know. Do you know how much that necklace cost me? Granted, it was before I knew about Jen Poirier and Jewelry, and jewelry Maker. <laughs> Do you know how much it cost me, the necklace? It wasn't blue diamonds, so blue diamonds would be more expensive, having said that. Blue diamonds would be more expensive. It cost me a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. Thankfully, they offered it me on 12 months free interest, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to buy it. Couldn't afford it. And I love it, and I've, don't get me wrong, it's, it's... And do you know, I never look at that necklace ever and think, that cost me a thousand pounds. I love it. I love it. It took me a year to pay for it, but I love it. And it's a sense of achievement because it was the first, you know, expensive piece of jewellery. I treated myself, and I love it. I do, I love it. I'd love it even more, though, in platinum if it was a blue diamond. I really, I've got to be honest, if that was a blue diamond, I would love it even more. So, brilliant cut, brilliant blue, clear great diamonds ethically sourced now i don't like to compare us to other people that often because i think i just love the fact that we are we, we are who we are and we do what we do but for an ethically sourced clean beautiful stunning brilliant cut diamond like that at less than 20 pounds each i challenge anybody to find better elsewhere i really do but because it's the quality it's not just the price point the quality of each of those diamonds. Just show you on the finger to give you an idea of size, yeah? For me, for me, this would be a, I would actually go for a trilogy ring. I'd have a trilogy ring of three diamonds. So, your enthesis, your, <laughs> Scorchio. your, um, authentic, I can't speak, your authenticity uh, certificate, 25p. You do want to prove that your diamonds are real. That is incredible. Brilliant cut blue diamonds. Stunning. And I would like to, um, I won't say your location in case it's a special gift for somebody, but I will say your name. Collector, Angela, a massive well done. Please, will you send a photograph of when you've attended your ring, your ring setting course? Please, and let's see how you turn these into jewellery. I'd, I'd love to see that, genuinely, Angela. Vicky, well done. Stephen, well done. Jill, congratulations. Jay, good luck. You've got it in your basket. Collector, good luck. Well, collectors, you've got it in your basket. Good luck. Genuinely, at £20, well, let's say £19.99. For £19.99, you can't even send a bouquet of flowers online. You can go into a well-known chocolate store and buy a box of chocolates for that. Nineteen ninety-nine. you struggle to get a single malt bottle of whiskey or a bottle of champagne. That kind of puts that into perspective, doesn't it? You know, your average bottle of champagne is going to be £30, isn't it? Yeah? £59.99, what, a couple of you in a decent restaurant? Yeah, for dinner? Blue diamonds but that's the thing I love about these it's not just the fact that it's a brilliant cut diamond it's the fact that you've got such and if we can just just if I hold that up even it's 
want to show you all the way around that blue. Look at that. Look at that just from the back. Look at the blue. It is stunning. I mean, it's a really lovely, bright, but it's as if you dived in there and it's bottomless. But it keeps that lovely sparkle and that adorable bright blue. They are so... Can you write the code down for me on these, hon? Because they... I... I'm going to go and have those professionally set. We're lucky here in, the, in, um, in, in Birmingham because we've got a wonderful jewellery quarter um, with uh, artisan um, jewellers. Because um, it's difficult here because obviously I don't want to ask one of our guests designers because then you're showing favouritism, aren't you? Who would, who would I ask? When we've got ama amazing, you know, guest designers, you'd feel bad that you'd chosen one, wouldn't you? Now, we've had a message about our diamonds from Suzette. I love JM's diamonds. I have these and I'm going to set them in Sarah Lern. Oh, Ooh, Suzette. Good for you. Mind you, I tell you what, 59.95 for three is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Leanne, wow, that colour is amazing. I know, darling. I'm with you. Hello, Leanne. You all right, darling? Uh, yeah, I totally, totally agree, sweetheart. The colour is amazing. The quality is amazing. Christine in Lanarkshire, you just got them as well. Well done. Wow. Uh, 59.95 for diamonds. I agree. It is just superb. If only I'd got some more. But I don't. You can't take clemmers like that. They're good, aren't they? Very pretty. Very pretty. Um, you can barely feed a family of four a takeout of pizza from a well known pizza delivery pu uh, place. Well, there you go. Yep. Yeah, pizza or diamonds. Well, the, do you know what I like about it? You, with diamonds, the difference. No carbs, not fattening. Diamonds haven't got carbs. Diamonds haven't got, aren't fattening. I mean, you don't, you don't get it. Okay, here's the thing. You don't go to the pizza place, do you? Or do you take away and go to the kids? There you go, there's your heirloom. Uh. You don't, do you? There you go, kids. <laughs> Knock yourselves out. That's, that's, what, that's what me and your mother are going to pass down to you as an heirloom. Or would you go blue diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> they are gorgeous. They really are. Have you written the code down for me, Poppet? Thank you, my lovely boy. Beautiful blue. They're just, you just look at that. I just want to hold that. Even if I, look at the facet work, look at the brilliance of the cut. Oh man, they're so good. And the fact they come in the little collector's box as well. I love them. Love them. They're lovely. Right then, so well done, everybody. Yes, do check out one's baskets, because I would not want to be you waking up in the morning thinking you'd bought blue diamonds and waking up and clicking on your basket and going, oh, oh I didn't check out. And now the price has gone back up. I think worse. I think, and everybody pays the final low price. Nobody pays any more than anybody else. That's fair. Yeah. Good, though. Good. Good, good, good. Right, I now have... Ooh. The Sphine is coming your way in 20 minutes. The brilliant Sphine. Twelve carats of Colombian emerald. Code F A O N sixty seven. We've offered you Colum uh, chrome dots at under twenty pounds today. We've given you three brilliant cut blue diamonds under sixty, and now we're giving you Colombian emerald for twenty nine ninety five. 
that's just we we we, we are we are going silly billies tonight, aren't we? Okay, we've got which one? Uh, I'm so sorry. It's going in one ear and out the other tonight. Sorry, I do apologise. I'm not. I'm not absorbing. To, and I've had a really good night's sleep. Didn't set the alarm this morning. Woke up at nine fifty-two. And 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 you know when your brain's not, it's not absorbing. It's not spongified tonight. Do you think it's the heat? It's not my eye. Oh wow! Have we got a purple one on here. I have. Ooh. Wow, that is a very sexy strand. Look, can you see up here the purple one? Look, 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 got a purple one. Pop a purple. Look. Wow. I mean, I know what I'd be putting with that. Can I just say something to my producer? That's a Don special, my love. That's a Don special. Indicolite. Thank you. Sorry. He's getting, he's getting confused with his, um, with his gemstones. But um, can I hold them out for you? But he's okay. He's okay. We'll let him off. You know, we, we, we have, but there's so much to learn about gemstones, isn't there? There's so much to learn. Every, I feel like every day I learn something new about a gemstone. Uh, in case you're all wondering where Claire's gone, she's coming back. She's coming back in just over 15 minutes. She'll be back here at 8 o'clock for the Today's Must Have Speed. Woo! That's a cracking price, hon. Very good. Give you, I mean, we start there, look, we've actually got, got, we've actually got, we start with black, black tourmaline, black tourmaline, purples, look, then into those fabulous oranges, greys, silvers, pinks, blues, <whistles> pinks, and then all the way back up in, in sort of, um, it's set in, Diagonals, isn't it? Opposite one another. Colour graduated. They are just incredible. Wow. 1995 is fantastic. Isn't it? That's a lovely thing about multicolour tourmaline. You can wear multicolour tourmaline and it will go with practically every outfit in your wardrobe. Hang on a moment. What is, what's the matter? Got a trap nerve in your thumb. Are you alright? You're generally alright? Yeah. Are you are okay? Yeah. Well don't do that. I actually genuinely thought you were in trouble then. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Proper What have you heard about that new television programme that's coming on the telly? Can't know what it what it's called. It was a bit advertised on the radio late last night. And it's about it's a bit like Dragon's Den, but for people that are disabled. So it's that people, they, what a lovely idea this is, right? So they've got people that are disabled, like there's this man who want, and they've got a dream of what they want to do, but they're restricted because of the way they've been, whatever's happened to them. And this man has got problems with his left hand, he's got a deformed left hand. So they then go to the, he says what he wants, he wants to be a hairdresser. So then they go to these inventors, and then the inventors are tasked to come up with some way to make it so that they can fulfil their dreams. What a brilliantly positive television programme that's going to be. I can't remember Sarah Cox was talking about it on Radio 2 last night. I'll have to try and find out. But I thought, what a wonderful premise for a stuff for a for a challenge. It's giving me goosebumps. Oh, I love that. I can't wait. Honestly, I've got goosebumps. I can't wait for that to come on. Oh, brilliant, you know, because we should all be able to realise our dreams, no matter what challenges are, you know. Oh, that's brilliant. Anyway, sorry, I just thought I'd share that. I just I cried on the way home and they told me that when I heard that last night. I actually thought, in a good way, I just thought, oh, how lovely is that? Oh. I have some highlights. I'll tell you what, our highlights at the minute is a really good price point. Really, I mean, we had that thing, didn't we, where over the last few months, black spinel seems to have got less and less in price. But the quality is brilliant. And, and then I think the same's happening with our uh, eye light. Natural. 
And add that to me as well. Taught unisex. Totally. Look at that. That is a perfect textbook example of player crowism. Do we know what player crowism is, Emma? She looked at she told she did then. She went like this. Please don't ask me. Please don't ask me. I should know. You're right, you should know. Come on, you know this. This is in your little Rotex. It's in there. I know it's in there. I can see in her face it's in there. Does somebody want to message in? Six zero. I oh, know our audience will know. Six zero triple seven. Start your text with JM Studio. Can we just enlighten, remind just Emma? Remind me, just remind because she knows. Yes. She knows. I know. She knows. Yeah. Player croism. Or player croism. Those are completely natural. Fifty carrots of I. Oh, chicken ladies in. Oh, Tracy. Tracy named a chicken after me. I don't think it, I don't think she's still with us, is she? Zena the chicken. Aww. I don't think she's still here. Is she? Can you let me know, Tracy? I'm sure. I'm sure I heard something happen to chick to Zena the chicken. I might be wrong. Mark, well done, darling. Uh, did Mark message you say he's okay with the rain and the thunder and the lightning? Did he message back? Just can you let us know you're okay, please? Sorry, Mark, but. No, but, I you know, you just, I don't, I, some people are really scared of the lightning and thunder, aren't they? Can you just make, Mark, will you let us know you're okay, please? Thank you. I do worry about people. Yeah, um, I do worry. Look at that. not lovely? Beautiful, natural eye of light. Has anybody come in with player charism yet? Our audience knows they're brilliant. I think they know more than we do. They do. 795 Indian Iolite. Look at the violets in there. Look at the dark blues, the deep blues, the medium blues, the silver blues. Do you know what that reminds me of? Do you remember we used to make paper chains? That you'd have going and you'd meet in the middle of your ceiling and then you'd come out like fours, your paper chains for Christmas. You buy them in strips and you'd have to lick that little bit and fold them over and make your trains. That's what they remind me of. Yeah. Anyway. Ooh, I've got a lovely charm, this. Now, I think this is a lovely gift for Christmas and, and things because, I don't know about you, but a feather, when you see a floating feather, it always makes me think of uh, somebody's spirit. And we've got that fabulous sterling silver feather charm. Coming up as a star buy for you in just over an hour at nine o'clock. I like that feather because it could almost be to scale. Something had gone on in my garden yesterday. I see the white feathers everywhere, all over the garden, all in my pond. I didn't find any evidence of everything so I'm hoping the birdie got away. But proper white feathers everywhere. But I'm hopeful it was okay because it had gone. Hope it had got away. It wasn't the newt. The newt's not big enough. He's only that big. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. I know that for a fact. My neighbour keeps coming around trying to find my newt. <laughs> He's like that. What? <laughs> I don't think you'll see him. <laughs> He's only that big. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so the, the um, feather's coming up for you, all right. Oh, hang on, everybody wants to see the eye light again. No problem, Nigel. Apparently, Nigel. I think it was Nigel, said he wanted to see it again. It might not be you, Nigel, I might have misheard. Pembrokeshire. I'd like to go there. I think it looks lovely on the telly, Pembrokeshire. Who's been, Lucy? And you've been, is it nice? Sounds nice, Pembrokeshire. Oh, Lucy's coming to Pembrokeshire, Nigel. Can she pop in for a cup of tea? Yeah, there you go. Just wanted to show it you again. As Mark lets know, he's all right. I'm worried. Mark. The Sphean. The Sphean. Ten minutes. The uber rare knockout quality Sphean. Look at that. It's just amazing. Uh, ten minutes away. I've also got some zebra. I've got some zebra. 
No, that wasn't what you were expecting, was it? A zebra. Serpentine. I keep looking, every time I come in to work, I keep looking for our snake. Because we've got that snake, haven't we? It's frightening life out of me. <laughs> you not seen the video of the snake that lives here? Big old snake. It's a big snake. Yeah, but I know it's just a grass snake, but it's a big whopper. He's a big boy. He, he goes back in the house through the hole in the brickwork. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can you imagine sitting there and then suddenly you could feel something. Was that you, Wayne? No. And there's a, ooh, hi. <laughs> You'd be like, oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway. I'm sure it's fine. Get Sam Wilson or... Is it Sam Wilson who's got the video? Oh, that. oh, have a look at this snake video. Anyway, we don't have very many of these left. We have got all sorts here. We've got deer. We've got hornets. We've got... Owls. Owls. We've got the owl outside. We've got the rabbits, little baby rabbits that were always outside. So, um, Jane has emailed in and said... Plagiarism means colours are seen at different angles in polarised light. Jane. She's absolutely right. She's absolutely right. So you did know it, didn't you? I knew I knew you didn't. Thank you, Jane. See, I told you, Wayne, our audience. Super. Is he alright? Everything okay here enjoying the show? Thank you, Mark. Tell you, Mark, but you I worry. Oh, Debbie's confused, John. <laughs> You're going to fit right in, love. She said, Zeno, I'm confused. Have I missed the demo? Debbie, ah, oh, it's... Ch well, we haven't... Have we not told you what's happening? That's not helpful, is it? We've mixed it up today. We've mixed it up. So, we had a demo. You have missed one. We had the demo at six o'clock. So, yes, you have missed the demo. I'm so sorry, darling. Yeah, Claire did a demo at six o'clock. We've moved it about a bit. Sorry. Well, do apologise. But we do have another kit coming up after the break. Mm, have another kit. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, got the kit coming up. So I do, I do apologise. Yeah, you have missed the demo, sorry. But you get the good news is, you don't forget, you can go back and watch it on YouTube. So if you just go to jewelrymaker.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, click on YouTube, find the date that you want, and if you go to 6 o'clock, you'll see Claire's demo. Sorry, Debbie. Sorry, Debbie, love. We don't want to confuse you. Why well, do you sometimes I think a bit of confusion is quite good for the soul? Mm, I quite like a bit of confusion. Um, so, yeah, hope that's okay, Debbie. So then, Ruby... I have to be careful how I say this. In fact, I'm really not comfortable saying this, if I'm truthful. Have we had the graphics in? Ruby, I'm going to say this slowly, fuchsia sight. I'm going to try and say it that way. Multi-shaped cabochons, they are lovely. Now then, they've been very popular, and the reason being is because they are completely natural, completely natural, big carrot weights. 300 carat weight, PAM V64 for 12.95. That is so impressive. Completely natural. Look at all that ruby in there. Now, the ones in the recording, slightly different shapes. I've got two pear drops. I've got an oval, I've got a third pear drop, and I've got like a... It's almost sort of... Curvy square. A what, darling? Curvy square. A curvy square. That's a lovely... She may not know what player crow is, but she knows a curvy square when she sees one. <laughs> a curvy square. Thank you, Emma. Beautifully said. A curvy square. Lovely. Well done, June and Mrs. W. I wonder who Mrs. W is. Mrs. W. I like that, Mrs. W. Hmm. That's another thing that drives me mad at my age. They all just assume, don't they? Is it Mrs.? 
No. Oh, it drives me mad, it does. I think I'm... Is it misses? No, not unless I've missed the wedding. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, I can be giving all my secrets away tonight, aren't I? Mm. Uh, right then, we have got some serpentine, but not as you know it. It's got lovely zebra stripes and it's your next star by. These are ace. So, uh, zebra serpentine. Come on. <laughs> oh dear. I'll tell you what, Lee, I was losing the will to live then. 140 carats of serpentine, but with these zebra, um, zebra incredible markings. Um, it's not just a gemstone serpentine, it's actually a group of 20 different, uh, predominantly green minerals, that occur in these masses of small intergrown crystals. They're completely natural, from Russia, and they're just, um, I just think they're the most unusual, if I turn them over so you can see, the most unusual green tone, then with these fascinating zebra markings, a greasy to waxy to silky luster, and they're amazing. They are said to be good. Now, there's a lot of talk about mindfulness these days, isn't there? And learning to be in the moment and breathe properly and, well, mindfulness, and these are a phenomenal Meditation stone. Really, really exceptional meditation stone. Do you know what they're said to be able to help help you find? I could do with a bit of this. Love. Not love, but thank you. Thank you for <laughs> I didn't mean for you. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, no. That was brutal in fact, wasn't it? Brutal. <laughs> Oh dear. oh dear. Thank you, Emma. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, okay. oh. it's said because it's a meditation stone, a meditative stone, it's said to help you find your inner peace. See me in the break. <laughs> I wasn't depressed before I came on, I am. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Natural zebra serpentine said to be amazing for meditation, so it's wonderful. Um, they've got like a silky chatoyancy serpentine. 14.95 for 140 carats. They're fascinating, aren't they? Really different. Really different. Um, so yeah, uh, they are natural. I don't have the biggest number left. They've been really popular, actually, the zebra sometimes. I think it's because they're so unusual, isn't it? Again, June, well done. You're having a lovely treat, June, in Shropshire. And uh, our lovely Sandra and our lovely Mrs W and the collectors coming in there as well. Really pretty. Now, the good news is the long-awaited, stunning strand of the Uber Collector's Stone, the adamantine fire, Far exceeds a diamond, you know, in a, in a spoon. Much more than a diamond. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, high dispersion. It's amazing gemstone. Brilliant. Oh, gorgeous. Anyway, we have superb quality spoon. Now, usually if I bring you a strand of spoon, it will be included. And you'll see these lovely browns and greens and different colours. But it will be marked. It will be included. Still lovely, still collectible. However, you then step up. You jump a massive bracket if you manage to get it looking pretty much eye clean, clarity. It, it just, the, the value goes like that, like a, what we call a hockey stick in pro, it, uh, increase like that. So it goes round and poof. That's, the hair, that's what we've got. Look at that. I cannot, ex please do your research in the break. Don't type a word for it. I know a lot of you know me. I know a lot of you. I've built that trust up and that's very important to me. But I must say, as a qualified um, uh, 
not classed as a gem artist, really, but accredited jewellery professional. It's, slight, it's different. An accredited jewellery professional by the Gemological Institute of America. I must stay. Uh, I must state that that is rare. It's a rare strand anyway, Sveen. But normally quite heavily included. Very rarely I clean. If we can just look at that one more time before we go to the break. Do we think those are eye clean? Are we seeing eye clean at that level of magnification? Yeah. That makes those superbly valuable because they're rare. All right? Hence why we could only get 51. 51 for the whole planet. Okay? So we're going to a break. Get ready, get yourselves a comfort break, get, get done, whatever you need to do, because if you want to check those out, I've got to urge speed. All right, my lovelies, we'll see you after the break. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewellery Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Been. I, I have to say, I, did feel, I feel, felt a bit bad when I came on the show this afternoon and uh, we came into the afternoon show and they're like, you've got Sveen. <laughs> it's like, sorry. Um, but we're sorry, not sorry. Uh, because we have got one of the most collectible gemstones. But it's not what you'll normally expect. 
because you'll normally expect Sfiend, as I said, to be included. It normally is included. It is only on a very, very rare, small, tiny, elite few that you get an eye clean Sfiend. It just very, very rare indeed. And it makes this even more excitable to have because it's such good quality Sfiend. It's an absolute pure and utter joy to be able to have this today for you as I must have. I'm just sorry that I don't have many, but we never will have. You know, sometimes, I've got to be honest, when it comes to Sfiend like this, I want it to be limited. I don't want every time Dick and Harry being able to get quality like this. The other included Sfiend, mm, okay. But I, if I'm looking for the best, this is it. This is absolutely it. It really is incredible. Um, you get a really high refractive index. You get exceptional fire that will exceed a good quality diamond. It ranges colour-wise from a brilliant sort of yellowish green to green to orange to, to brown with what you get is these incredible, incredible flashes of rainbows of colour, uh, which are never going to come through the camera properly, so you do need to get them home to see them. Um, because of that, it's that high dispersion, high refractive index, and what happens then, if you get a really well-cut sphere like these, then what you'll get is incredible, stunning levels of brilliance with a fire that is intense. So the fire, the rainbows that you get bursting out of a diamond or a zircon, that's what you get in Sphine. But because of the way the camera's designed, it removes all of that phenomena. So you need to see them for yourselves, quite frankly. Um, so have you ever seen like a glass prism that sort of... <laughs> what, a, what a glass prism will do is it, it effectively takes sunlight and then unfolds it and splits it into a rainbow of colours, like a glass prism. And that's what this gemstone does naturally. Naturally! Oh, it's so cool. Uh, and that's because of the dispersion, and that's because of the um, uh, ref refractive index that is really high. And then that fire that you see in a diamond or a glass prism is what you're going to get. But again, it's very difficult for the camera to show, almost iron impossible. Um, so you might have heard of it as titanite. You might be thinking, oh, it sounds odd. But that's because it's got um, a really rich body of colour. It's got uh, really strong trichroism, like a tanzanite. And it's got this fantastic intensity of fire. Now... A little bit like a diamond, if you've got the colour, if you've got the clarity, if you've got the carat weight, those are the three most important factors of Sphene. Then we're talking about rarity of clarity, because if you get them eye clean, you are talking about super rarity on a whole other level. Also, um, it's skill and art history when it comes to cutting of Sphene, so that's complex as well. Um, and a preference in the industry, just give you a little bit of insider information here, is for the lighter tones, so especially sort of the yellowy greens, which is effectively what we've got here. So if you get a sphene that's this tone, that's got your fire, that's more importantly got that rarity and unexpected clarity that we've got here, you're talking valuable sphene, really valuable sphene. And I wouldn't mind, it might be an eight centimetre strand, but it's got a lot of sphene on there. There are a lot of spheens there. Aren't there? But in that recording there, at that amount of magnification, so that's time... Do we know how much it is in that recording there, hon? OK, so when a jeweller's eye loop when they grade a diamond is about ten times magnification. That is approximately 25 times magnification there on those exquisite rare spheens. Now, I'm going to give you an idea of some prices. So I had a little... Um, oh, you might be wondering, how, why, why is it that colour? We well, you know, like, um, a bit not dissimilar to, to Peridot. You know Peridot's colour by iron? Same with sphene, colour by iron. That's where you get those colours. So, and I quote... I found, uh, this is set to sterling silver, uh, a 0.88 carat ring with Sphene in silver, 72 .99. And that was on one of the well-known shopping jewellery channels, which are normally cheaper. I've got in this strand 12 and a half carats of rare Sphene with clarity. Now I'm going to ask Claire, because our guest designer is back with us now. Have you ever seen Sphene with that clarity on? I haven't. I've never seen it like that. Never, ever. 
spectacular isn't it absolutely absolutely and you know you talk about like the prices and, and but that's got a drill hole as well so uh -huh. you can do that and we do all the sterling silver yep. findings don't we and, yep. and the gold plate is sterling silver yep. the rose gold so you know it's workable all yeah. those carrots are workable exactly i mean it's just an incredible mm. strand you've got the fire you've got that it's the clarity uh, when I when I spoke to our gemologist, the lovely Marie, and I said to her, I said, you know, can we get some sphene in? And I did request it, and she said yes. And then I got presented with this, and I went, you know, in all the years I've seen sphene, over eight years, I've never seen sphene with clarity. Mm. Not like that. But I can always remember, I can remember um, Mark saying to me that he treated himself to, um, so of all the gemstones he could have bought, and it was sphene, a sphene yep. stud that yep. he'd, he'd bought himself and I'd never heard of it and, and he wears thought, it all the time yeah but I thought if he's got that yeah. so it, it's got to be something special hasn't yeah. it so a special yeah, all the gemstones me. that he you know comes in yeah. contact with and that's what he'd gone for yeah. and I remember hearing him saying that that's he treated himself yeah. to that and I'll tell you what when we were over at uh, previously part of the Gemporia group I can, do you know what the, do you know when you spoke to the presenters and the crew and everybody everybody had got a sphere because of how rare it was but then normally uh, did you find that yeah, Leah's got one, I've got one. But they're more they're like the brownie colour. Like, yeah, they're like a, yeah. We've never had this sort of luminous yellow green. I mean, it's, it's superb. I've never generally seen Sphene like it. When we had a strand on um, uh, just a, a, a couple of weeks ago, or whenever it was here on The Late Show, I bought one. And it is superb, and it's sitting in my safe at home. Okay, then, the other amazing thing is the price point. Because... Actually, for a sphene of this calibre, it's actually affordable. Wow. Yeah. I was pleasantly surprised we even got it under 100. So actually, 30 pounds under 100, I was knocked out. Mm. That's why I treated myself. Because <laughs> you do. So 69.95 on those sphene, super, super rare. Do you know the first person to check out? A lovely lady. A really kind, lovely lady who has historically sent me some lovely letters and little presents. And it's our lovely Margot in Fife. Margot. Really pleased for you. Collectors coming in. Oh, a lot of, lot of north of the border coming in from the highlands and up in Fife and everywhere up mm -hmm. there. Good taste. Yeah, very good taste in Scotland. Not that I can do the accent, sorry. Donkey. Can you do Scottish? No. No, no, no. Is that Scottish? That's not well. I've our... got the name. That's that's so you know McDonald. Oh yeah, I've got a Scottish name. Yeah. Haven't you, McDonald? Yeah. 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 So I'm nearly there. Yeah. Um, right then. So I do have collectors coming in from the Highlands, from London, from Worcester. Celine, hello, lovely California's in. Mary in Worcestershire, collector in Hertfordshire is welcoming in on these. Oh. Stunning. Still very clever, that is. And against the white background, if I just move that down as well in a moment, so you can, there you go, look. Look at that. Even against the black, doesn't it look amazing? Stunning. Oh, certain young lady in California, IA, has just got three. Do you know what? When you get the opportunity to buy speed as good as that, especially if you sell your jewellery, you're going to know that's a good purchase that you're going to make money on. No question at all. 69.95. Now I only started with 51. I am sorry that I'm not, I don't think I'm going to have enough to go right. At the minute, I can satisfy you all. With those beautiful spheans. Now somebody said, are they natural? Yes. Yes, they are. They are natural. Look at that, look at that. Because when you wear spheen, oh my That's word. That's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? Truly knockout clarity. I clean. I mean, who'd have ever thought we could get spheen as good as this on Jewelry Maker? It's just brilliant. It's to be celebrated. It really is. Julie, congratulations in Wiltshire. You've got them. Angela, congratulations. You've just got them as well. You've got to be grinning from here to here. And the thing is, I can't show you the fire. I need you to see that. Your cells in natural daylight. Balanced natural daylight. They are superb. Um, good luck, good luck, good luck. 12 and a half carats of eye clean clarity on speed. Practically unheard of. 
Now, I will recap those towards the end of the show if, and it's a big if, there's any left. But I've got a young lady in the studio that would like my attention. Hello, lady. Hello. Oh, she's, double, she's just double eyebrow raised me. Oh, it's tired. I'm <laughs> tiring now. Come on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Come and sit here. I've missed you. Oh, I've missed you as well. Where have you been? Mooching about. You've been mooching about? Eating, been... eating a few sweets. You've been in the sweet bowl. Have you? Mm. Is it, the, is it, I had to, I had to tell no, them. it's been, it's been some it's good It's been ones. replenished. Yeah. Well, I did complain the other night and said, you sweet balls there are, a bit uh, There are chocolate eclairs in there as well, no. So you put any in for the team or just looked after yourself? Sorry, I just looked after myself, yeah. Ooh. Just ate a lot of them. There's probably about three left. I didn't you touch any of those, you know those boiled sweets that I think have been in there for... I didn't have any of those. I've left it's like one. the ones that you expect, like, like your nan suck the chocolate off and put them back in the wrapper. They look like that, don't they? Mm, I haven't done that. I wouldn't do that. No, but you just left. I've just all eaten the good the... ones. Is that me? That's not me, is it? Well, it wasn't me. Was that me? No, I haven't brought my phone in. Oh. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Right then, young lady. We are doing a kitalata, aren't we? Yes, we are. Now that it's another collect... We always get excited when we see it because we know there's going to be a lovely gemstone in there, yeah. don't we? And it'd be lovely um, with the uh, spheme, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Please don't ping, please don't ping, please don't ping, please don't oh, ping. Oh. <sighs> Emma's ready. A Zambian 1.2 carat emerald. Eight by six mil. Genuine Zambian emerald. And again, it's a little bit like the Sphene. Why do people opt for Zambian emerald over any other emerald? Because this is a colour. It is. There is a special undertone of blue in the green. See, absolutely right, Claire. That is one of the reasons. The other reason is the lack of inclusions, which, ah, again, you'd expect yeah. in an emerald. So, yeah, there's a very unique blue-green. You can see it there, the undertones of the blue. Blue-green and a real lack of inclusion, which is wonderful. Be perfectly formed... 1.2 grams of Zambia. Would you also like me to just tell you, you also get, um, just to confirm, 10, I'm going to take that off so you can see, because otherwise we lose the colour. Take the bicycle clips off. So, we have 10 metres of 0.4 and 10 metres of 0.8, don't we, lovely? We do. In silver-plated wire. Just to show you how well that goes with the silver-plated wire. Now, we've negotiated... We've had this kit on once before, I believe. Yes, yeah. Been and we've, we've been given an MD saving. Managing Ooh. director's discount. Fabulous. Managing director's discount, courtesy of Mr. Uh, Mr. Andrew. Are you ready? EIXC92, £20. Two kits under 20. We said to him, we oh want two kits goodness. under 20. This wow. Oh. oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Have you got your grabber? I haven't. Oh. And I, found, I used it the other day as well. You're making it worse. Oh, we've ordered one for us in the studio. Thank you. So it's all right. It's only been here eight. <laughs> we've only been here eight years. No grabber. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to us. <laughs> yeah, never ever have we ever done that before. Lowest ever. That's actually £10 off. Wow. The kit should be £29.95. Our manager director's taking it down by a third for you. Should be £29. Incredible. Isn't it? £19.95 yeah, for all of those, brilliant. Claire. Yeah, brilliant. Now, also, Claire has made some jewellery with this. Mm. 
to show you the beauty of the Zambian emerald when it's set. Oh, Claire, that's amazing. So what I tried to do with the jewellery was um, to do two sort of different styles. So uh, one sort of like a, um, a plainer version uh, and one a really, really ornate version. Uh, so wire work wise, but you can see, can't you, in both of them, the, the how that stone stands out yeah and it's just such a real feature i mean it's a, it's a great price isn't it for the just the, incredible the, the stone. yeah just for the zambian emerald beautifully modeled and look how the green of the emerald looks different outside it's amazing isn't, isn't it? it yeah and that's where you can really see just, the blue green yeah i think yeah and that's, 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 that's a great uh, example of, of what we say isn't it of uh, you know that, you see what it. we're saying mm. You see that out in natural daylight and it looks like a really blue green like an ice mm. blue green Stunning. Yeah. Amazing jewellery. Okay. Uh, well done, everybody. I can see a fair few. But those, the, oh, we look like we're in a library there. We added some books. We do, don't we? Oh. I think there's a couple more DVDs. I think there are. Yeah. Some little sneaky DVDs in there. Sorry, I just noticed some of the books in the studio. I thought. Mm. Um, right then, so you do get your collector's box, of course. Somebody just said, do you get the collector's box? Yes, you do. 1.2 carat solitaire, well done. And every single one of you that have just bought that kit have got the best deal on that kit ever. Nobody's ever paid less. 8 by 6 mil, Zambian emerald, 1.2 carats. Cracking deal. I mean, there isn't a piece of jewellery that you've made there for less than that whole price of the kit, is there? No. Not at all. Not at all. No. I mean, okay, can I ask, I know you don't sell your jewellery, Claire, but if you were to sell that bracelet, mm -hmm. what do you think? So that one there, well, I, I would say, what, I don't know, it's from like 60, 70 pounds, something yeah, like that, with that. a big, you yeah. know, a 1.2... Exactly, okay, Zambian em emerald, emerald, natural Zambian yeah. emerald. And then, so time-wise, that one doesn't sort of, because I make them quite regularly now, so time-wise, that doesn't, probably takes me about... An hour, an hour and a half for, to do the wire work side of it. So, yeah, I, I think I think that's a, that's, that's an incredible yeah, deal, isn't it? Nineteen ninety-five. That is just superb. I mean, the other the other one is is more like a labour of love, um, you know. And I've added in a little bit of the um, the the weaving wire on that one, just because it's. I think sometimes you know we say you see um, you see a stone. And you want to, and it, and it inspires you with things, and it just, yeah. you, you have things that you just want to keep going and keep going and keep going. And, you know, some of the, you know, since, I think, since, certainly since Marie, that some of the, you know, had such exciting gemstones that really, you know, you, you want to just keep working yeah. with them, don't you? Look at that. I mean, that just <laughs> looks incredible, doesn't it? What a stunning piece of jewellery, Claire. Thank you. And wow. I, I think it's, it's just really lovely seeing these photos to see. Yeah. You know, a, a great photographer. It's lovely to see them, uh, you know, being worn. Who's wearing them? I think it's I think it's Becky. I think it's Becky Redican. Yeah. Oh, presenter Becky. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's lovely, isn't it? it yeah. Makes me feel really, really proud. Really proud. You know, when I saw those. Well, that's photos, kind of like the kind of thing you'd see in a yeah, really like Vogue or something, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it felt yeah, really, really oh. good feeling. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks, Sam, for lovely photos. Yeah, our lovely Sam. I was emailing some about photographs today. Were you? Mm. He's very good, isn't he? Yeah. Very good. So anyway, uh, right then, so well done to... Ed Ooh, that's a lot of you getting that. Ooh, some people are buying two each. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, actually. A lot of people with your baskets, solid collectors. Sandra Victoria, collectors in County, Greater London, coming in for those as well. Well done in the West Midlands. You get a 1.2 carat solitaire, natural Zambian emerald, and 20 metres of silver plated wire. Even if you took the emerald and you took it to a, a jeweller, yeah. you know, and had it, you know, it had it oi. set like that. Oi. Yeah. Yeah, so there yeah. you go. Well, well done. Well done. <sighs> 20 pounds. Crazy. Mm. Why are you giving me numbers, darling? <laughs> I was going to say, you have a job, love. Let's get a number through. What does that mean? Excuse me, I'll just fold my little bit of paper up. Make one of those things. Oh, the kiss me, yeah. snog me. Yeah. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Yeah. What about you smell? Yeah, you. 
No, because you had to have some mean ones, didn't you? Because then there's like a, what you are you going to get? You smell. Yeah. It's not very nice, is it? I said it has to be mean. Did you used to write you smell on it? In one of them, you'd have to like oh, be Claire. mean. Oh, Yeah, because then you'd like hope to get a nice one. I used to write all my nice. Mm. Oh. Mm. You smell. I don't, as it happens. Oh, excuse me. You got the giggle, haven't you? Life's too short. Um, right then, a round ruby cabochon. Mm. See, that would be nice in the designs. Um, you could do like, you know. Yeah, mix them up, put them in yeah. with your um, with your emerald. Or instead of. Mm. I like that though, because how often do we see a round? Mm. Uh, would that be easy to prong set? It'd be very easy to prong set, and um, you could net it as well. Yep. Wow. Now then, I'm just going to mention the carrot weight there is six times the average. Six times the average. The average carrot weight of a ruby is two. Two carrots is the average size for a ruby, which I actually thought was bigger than I would, I would have guessed. So the fact that we've got 12 carrots, which is six times the average size, it's rather impressive. Oh. I used to play the paper thing and it was called Consequences. Consequences. Was it, Nicolette? Is that what it was? I never... Yeah. Is it we called? Was it called that? I yeah, never that remembered about. that. Nicole? I want, I want to make was one it Nicolette? Nicolette. Sorry, was it Nicolette? I'm so was. sorry, but I just renamed Nicolette. Was it Nicolette? Yeah, sorry, Nicolette. So I thought I think I said Nicolette. Nic and did Nicolette? Did you always have? Was it only nice things in there? You had to have like one. Consequences. What did you write in yours, Nicolette? Just have interest. <laughs> Could you? I never. I never knew how to make them. I feel like I want to have a little go, but I'll, 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 I'll wait till after. Do you know what? On. Hang on. Let's decide if. Um... Yeah, go on then. I'll cope without my notes. It's fine. Thank you, Nicolette. She's going to see if she can do one now. Could have done with a plain one, couldn't we? But. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, so um, can I just check as well some information on this one, please? The other screen, hon. No. Thank you. Oh, natural. Natural ruby there in a 12 carat solitaire for under a £10 note. That's amazing, isn't it? It's super. And, and the fact that you know exactly what size, so that takes it into the realms of earrings, doesn't it, in your designs, which is quite unusual for you. What, what are you laughing at, me? No. Well, it's all about you, Claire. Isn't it? No. Oh, don't tell me that now. <laughs> Sorry. Right, that's the last... Oh. <laughs> the owl was watching you, then. What? The owl, what owl? was watching you. Oh! <laughs> anyway, Ethiopia. We're off to Ethiopia. Oh, no. Yeah, just been to India for the ruby. Now we've boarded a plane and we've zipped across to Ethiopia to find their opals. I love this because I think this is like a Christmas strand because it's got its inbuilt own lovely flashing fairy lights that never, the battery mm. never goes out. You never have to find the missing bulb. That's your unicorns, isn't it? Yeah, that's your unicorns. Yeah, ding dong. An 85 centimetre strand as well of Ethiopian opal. Violets, rare violets, yellows, oranges. 
I have, uh, I have tried She's to start... She's turned into a square. I have tried to start with a square, yeah. Someone's it might be slightly off, but I have been given tried. instruction on yeah. how to make the consequences. I've tried to get it into a square, yeah. Okay. Look, that's I'm so I'm, impressed yeah. if you can do this. Because I, I used to have to always get the other girls to do it. I haven't done it yet, so let's... Um... Don't, let's get too excited, no. though. Okay. <laughs> just, I just don't want to see the thing that says you smell. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You know, there you go. Look, play of colour. And the colour does play, doesn't it? That's what I love about it. Big long strand, 85 centimetres of Ethiopian opal, 60 carats, code QMSF32. I've got a very impressive star by coming your way shortly. Du, 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 du. Is it here? Do we have it? Ah, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Found it. No, we've done this previously because... Emma, could you pass me the green amber picture? We've done a similar one. Thank you, Pudding. I'm just dismantling the art on the walls. Thank you, darling. We did a similar layout design in the cognac. But I've got a very a, 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 a slightly different design, but in multicolours. But that's just to show you because what it is is it's um thank you Emma it's um double drilled throughout to balance the ambers. Then as it exits, you can turn it into a single strand if you would so desire. So look, similar to what how we set it there, but this is with multicolours of amber. Nine left. And we've been given permission. We're not supposed to have this in the show, but we were allocated the last nine chances out of the vault. You can see through, look there, you've got the double strand. Double strand, double strand, double strand. And then it exits. Still on the double strand if you wanted to, but you could turn that into one strand to make the most impressive one big statement piece necklace or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different designs. Uh, it, you know, to, to fan together so that when set, they create that incredible visual statement. Have you written some horrible things in there? I'm gone. Can we just give her the attention she deserves? Okay, what do I have to do then? Red. R. E. D. <laughs> Three. So three, one, two, three, eight. Sorry, we'll get there in a minute. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. It's my birthday. Ah. Oh. Have you written that on everyone? Yeah. <laughs> Have you written that on everyone? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I remember. I can't that. believe you remember how to make the consequences. Yeah. Oh. It's good that we know. We know what it's. Thanks for your demo. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that took us all back about 40 years. Me, 40 years. I think that just took me back, Claire. Thank you. No, no worries. Thanks, all done, Claire. There's your demo on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> what did Claire make last night? Mm. Well, <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh, bless you. Isn't this lovely? It is gorgeous, yeah. Look at that. I mean, that is just superb. I mean, that is defi definitely three-figure jewellery, isn't it? What do you think, price point-wise? Mm. And I'm sure I've seen... I'm sure I've seen uh, Alice and Terry, I think, work individually with them and do beautiful wire work over... You know, so, like, yeah. individual, individual pendants. That is incredible. Mm. We, did you put the price in on that? Oh. Did you hear that? No, but I was. No, I was um, Sorry, we were so transfixed by the consequences. We did, we weren't listening to. You. We're doing that in apparently ten minutes. Sorry. Oh dear. How many? Exactly. How many? <gasps> do you get oh, all those? Look at them. Blimey. She's nicked one already. I hope everybody noticed that. Wow. They're incredible, aren't they? Mm. 
multi-shape lapis lazuli, natural lapis lazuli. Do you know we're 20 carats off a thousand carats there of natural lapis. I love all the different tones of the lapis where the silvers mm. are mixing in as yeah. well, do you? Yeah. Look at that look, just to show you the variation. Do you know as well, this is what I love about Jewelry Maker. You know, would you honestly, as much as we love lapis, and I know my answer to this, if you had to go and get on a donkey mm. and ride six to eight weeks to this very difficult location in Afghanistan mm. to mine your lapis and then get on that donkey or horse, to, for another six to eight weeks, ride that donkey or horse back, pay for your flight and your hotel accommodation and all your food for all that time and then come home, would you do it? I wouldn't be that keen, no. I mean, I love it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But look at all these. So you've got different... Um, yeah, the thicknesses. Different, yeah, the different thicknesses and yeah. the different shapes as well. Yeah. So some are really going to lend themselves to netting mm. or... Um, you know, your yeah. prong setting. But yeah, you're right, different look, ways. look at the difference in the, in the depths there, look. Oh, that's a great skimmer. Not that you would, but it is. Mm. That'd, do a, that'd do a good seven, nine bounces, that would. I'd love that one. Isn't that lovely? That's amazing. 980 carats for se In fact, let's have a count of armor, Claire, so we, because we haven't, we haven't utilised Wayne in his calculator like then. I know he likes to. <laughs> So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh no, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, less than a pound each. Ninety-four P. Can I put them under the overhead so we can show you them all together? Here can you, you imagine sort of um, some of these as like a night sky with you if you did your tree of life? Because you've got some quite big ones here as well, haven't you? So you have them as sort of like a lovely oh frame. Get off. Oh. <laughs> hey! hey. Let me just try and put them all down so we can get them all on. Because there is a, it is a, this is a lot. Look, sorry, Clay, you're saying so many. I was saying that you do, you know, some of these are, are pretty big. You could have them as, um, as the, as the whole sort of the, the base for your tree of life, couldn't you? And with, yeah. with your night sky behind. Yeah. And lovely. Isn't that incredible? Mm. That Beautiful. it's just the price point. It's absolutely brilliant. Well, hello, Peter. My brother's called Peter. I never see him. Bless him. Do you know, I've never seen my brother. My brother's the one that when um, the girl said to him at a party, do you like, we were at a party. In fact, it was a European song contest. In fact, it was the year when Bucks Fizz won. It was 1981. I don't know. So I, was, I don't know, I was about 10. I was about 10. I don't think I was born then. Oh, I'll shut your face. <laughs> so, you were. But my, we, the girl had obviously been told, all the adults were in the house next door and all the kids were in the house the other side, and they'd obviously, she, this girl had obviously been told to feed us all. So she came out, she said, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm still embarrassed to this day. She said, do you like paella? Do you know what his answer was in front of everybody? I'm not into pop music. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> I'm not into... Oh, I'll just hear you. I've been about 13. I'm not into pop music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Bless him. I'm not into pop music. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> it still makes me laugh after all this stuff. Oh, my, the pop music. <laughs> did anyone say to him? <laughs> yeah, of course they did. Did he take it all right? He's oblivious, my brother. Is he? Oh, oblivious. <laughs> he couldn't care less. <laughs> I was mortified, but he wasn't here bothered. <laughs> I was embarrassed, he couldn't care less. All right, then. Um, Oh, the, I know the price point on this. I can't believe we've got any left. I genuinely can't believe we've got any left because this is just such a joy, such a rare treat, one of the rarest opals on the planet. Boulder opal. Boulder, I just think they look so fashionable as well. Mm, and big chunks, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Big, big chunks. That's why I can't believe it because just look at, look at how many you're getting. And then look at that price point for rare boulder opal. They'd be nice as like, uh, and, and unisex cufflinks, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, Good yeah, because yeah, the shape, every one of those mm. you could use as a cufflink, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. How many pairs have we got? One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven pairs. That's incredible. Look at that one. Yeah. That is... I know. That's Boulder Opal for you, mate. That is beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Lovely it? look. Turn it around so you can see. They are fascinating gemstones. Australian rare Boulder Opal. <gasps> And this one here, look, this where it's a, like a full split. That's yeah. incredible. Turn that round so you can see. They are fascinating, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. Absolutely fascinating. Do you know, says it in Morrisshire, I'm going to have to come and see your collection, Missy. Ah. She said, evening, you lovely pair. We have a thunderstorm here and finally rain. Oh. I don't think we've had any yet, have we? Emma's gone out to have a look. I bet. Is it a lovely smell? That's what I like. I like that. You know, that's... What is it with you and smells tonight? <laughs> I, I, I do. I'm very interested in smells. It's all your senses, isn't it? I know what you mean when it's raining. The smell of that's wet soil. Fresh. Yes. Mm. Yes, yeah, like nothing wet else, soil. isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. the smell of a storm. Oh, yeah. Mm. As like long it. as you're in the dry... I don't mind, actually. Eating paella. Mm. Oh, I'm glad you're okay, Tony. Love, have a lovely weekend. How's your cat? Is your cat okay now? It's got a poorly foot, put foot, oh. tail, tail, foot. Oh, foot, mm. wasn't it? Blue bandage on. Oh. Mm. The cat, all right. Mirabel, if you're watching, by the way, is Mirabel watching? It's Mirabelle's 65th birthday in tomorrow. She, it is. Oh. Mirabelle. Hi, Z Claire and T. Wow, oh. what a price for Boulder Opal, Mirabelle. Can we sing? Because I won't see Mirabelle tomorrow. I can't sing. I, can I do a. You I'll can, do a, like a. Okay, Emma, you're singing. I do like it's a. Because it's her dance. birthday tomorrow. <laughs> She's 65, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Mirabelle. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Oh, have a lovely day. Oh, it's your birthday. Oh. Yeah, your dance was a bit rot. Trust me, that was a lot better than my singing would have been, so. Oops, your, li your lips are all glittery. You got glitter lips. It's, uh, it's that. It's the second part of the uh, the lip, yeah. lip lipstick. Glitter lips. It's got glitter lips. Oh, they're nice. Mmm. Mmm. Hilda. <laughs> Just make you want an ice cream, doesn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. That's like bubble gum, isn't it? Bubble gum. Now, how about with these bad boys? Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, yes! Ding dong! That is... Whoa! lovely. I wasn't sure if that would work, but that, that is... That does, that yeah. That is... Ooh. When are we allowed to do the um, neon appet or, what, or whatever we're calling it? Ooh. In an hour? That is... That's I don't amazing. feel able to wait an hour for that. That is superb, man. Oh! Oh, sorry. Oh, that's just proper. Uh, yeah. Oof. Oh, that's had a bit of an effect on me, that has, if I'm truthful. I am having a bit of hot flush on then. Uh, lovely sky blue. We have had sky that colour, haven't we, lately? Mmm. That'd be nice with the um, spaces that you've got. I don't know if you've done those, those, those tube spaces. Do you mean the. Um, have you just taken that price down? Oh, oh thanks. my gosh. Yeah, I like that. Quite fresh, isn't it? Oh, she's like a fresh smell now. She'll make her mind up in a minute. <laughs> Rose gold twisted spathers. Good God, I haven't spotted those, Claire. Well spotted. Nice I'll tell you what blue. I think it'd look nice. Look at these. Mm, oh. Yes, they would. Yeah. Jennifer said, my husband's watching the show tonight. He says you're all mad on this channel. Ha ha. <laughs> Jennifer, excuse me, but we resemble that accusation. <laughs> yeah, but I bet Jennifer just said, yes, they are. That's like... That's Jennifer, not new, what's news, your husband's name? Let's have a chat with him. <laughs> what's your husband's name, Jennifer? Let's have a chat with the hubby. Come on, 
on then, hubby. Let's have a chat. <laughs> Tony likes the smell of it. Yeah, I agree. I love the rain smell. Mm. You like new smells? Pack it in. All right, what's your favourite smell? Cut grass. Petrol. Mm. Yeah, old-fashioned oh. petrol, though. Yeah, I like Not petrol, your new petrol. Yeah. The petrol doesn't smell anymore on a forecourt. Yeah. Sawdust, yes. that's a nice that's smell. A I like one. sawdust, yeah. Mm. The smell of. <laughs> but I think smell, smell is like one of the, the main things that sends you, makes you reminisce, isn't it? Mm. Christmas dinner. I think it's a really powerful. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> You're in trouble, Kevin. Kevin! You think he's a madhouse, do you? <laughs> You're absolutely right, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> You're in so much trouble. <laughs> Who did the close up then? I'm told what to do by my director. Leah. Leah, you are Leah, a bad girl. Leah, Leah. Kevin, we don't mind. We're not really, you're not really in trouble. We don't mind, Kevin. You're absolutely right, Kevin. Kevin's absolutely right. Stephen Bev, Zena, can you... Oh, Steve. Can you please wish my darling wife, Bev, a happy 33rd wedding anniversary? Stephen and Bev are lovely, aren't oh, they? Oh, Steve, you are... Yeah. A, he's an old romantic, isn't he? Yeah, lovely. He is. Steve... <laughs> Out in beautiful Paphos mm. as well. Happy 33rd. I mean, gosh, that gives us That's amazing. Hope. That's an am amazing achievement. Yeah, okay. And still clearly massively in love and happy. That is wonderful. Yeah. Happy 33rd wedding anniversary to you both. Not just mm. to Bev, but to you as well, Steve. Well done. Wow. Well, mm. That amazing. is an achievement, isn't it? Mm. Do you get a bit envious, do you? I did think about it the other day. Who was I talking to? It's a look, in a good way. Yes, and they, theirs was about 30-something years. Wow. And, I, and I did think, I was running, it's my running, one of my running ladies, and I thought, I'll never have that. No, I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Right. We could do, you know, if, we, if you could, you, we could. We could, if we met some, we could. Well, like tomorrow. You never know. Well, you're only how old? You're in your 40s, aren't you? 28. Like, Sort of around there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 42. 42, 42 and a So and that'd and only a half. be like, what, 75? That's not unreasonable. I'd need to like meet them next week. Well, go on then. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. saw, even my stepdad said today, he said, the trouble is, Zena, with you, the amount of times hours you're working, you're not likely to meet anybody, are you? Are we? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should we just go out, Claire? Should we just go out? Yeah, let's, let's Should just we go just... out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were going to do speed dating, weren't we? Oh, shall we? Let's find out. We'll find mm. out what the next one is. Rose Gold Plate. I'm really kidding, but hello, Kevin. Uh, Rose Gold Plate in 92... Kevin! 925 sterling silver, twist tubes, 10 mil by 2 mil. So nice, nice, juicy... You're going to get a decent size wire through there, right? Yeah, it's a good aperture. Yeah. yeah, you would. I love that word, aperture. And it would go very nicely with the, the rounds that you just have those blue ovals. Yeah. Very nice. 50 page. Oh, Tony said, I've been asked to ask Zena, did she get the message from Simon? Bert's foot has healed. Oh. Lovely, honey. Oh. Tony, I did message this on the show last night. I did message and say that Simon had sent me a message about a charity ball. So, yes, 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 I have received it. And, yes, I forwarded it on to Alex for you. Thank you. And Bert's the ball. cat. Bert's the cat. Poorly foot. Oh, blue bandage. Yeah. But it's healed. So that's, that's all good. right. That's good. Oh, see, I told you we like to ch we like to chat, didn't we? It's nice mm. to chat. I think it's I nice. Think so. Actually. I'm not having a chat. I do. Um, it's like loose women. Then Ross Kemp and Ross Kemp was on today. Well, I me look. He was really what a family man he is. Is he? Four kids chatting about his wife. Really nice man, Ross Kemp. Grant right. Mitchell. Yeah. Is he? All right. He came across really... That's his character. Yeah. Yeah, Ross Kemp is the real man. Yeah, I didn't know he had four children. He's four children. He's chatting about his wife. Really came across a lovely is man. Oh. oh, him and Brian Connolly. But I have to say, I was not... You, know, you sit there and you see somebody and you just think, what a lovely man. I love Brian Connolly. Yeah, I, see I he, love him. Well, I saw him do Barnum and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and he was brilliant. I am. Um, he uh, went as pantomime, and he called Lola out. So me and Lola had I to go on the stage. Yeah, and Lola, Lola was really about four, and she was dressed up as, um, as oh, a pirate. So I was going back amazing. to the, sta He's a lovely the stage guy. door. He's yeah, a lovely guy. Yeah, really nice. Um, right then, um, shall we? Shall we bring you? Which is what we're supposed to be doing <laughs> instead of gossiping, Kevin. Uh, it's a star by Kevin. <laughs> Look at that. 
stunning. That's from the back. I just want to show the inclusions. Mm. It's just amazing, this is. Oh, Sandy really brought me then. It's amazing. Oh, dine off, Sam. Brought me then, dine on. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think I sound brought me then. I just want to watch myself back. I think, oh, you do, love. <laughs> Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? They are amazing, though. Fancy layout. What a great layout. I mean, mm. that is that is real attention to shaping to get it to shape Shating, together so yeah and the, yeah. And the exact the colors is mm. incredible you've got the cherry mm. deep rich dark sort of mahogany cherry with the cognac, cognac yeah. yeah and then the lemon like a honeyed lemon that's incredible incredible look at that and that actually is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very generous pieces. And they're double drilled. That's the beauty mm. of this. So you've got a lovely, can, you can actually see in there, can't you, look, the double drill. Not lovely. There are nine left mm. on this beautiful design. That's all we have. We don't have any more on order, I'm afraid. This has been a real, real favourite and uh, very limited edition piece as well. So, nine pieces guaranteed of Baltic Amber. Beautifully laid out into that fantastic design, that sort of almost horseshoe-esque mm. smile of amber and all those lovely colours. All of that for sixty nine ninety five. Incredible, isn't mm. it? Truly incredible. And as 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 Claire was saying, you don't have to use them all together. No, I mean it's a stunning statement piece, isn't it? Like that. But I mean, you know, if you if you sort of like you're, um, you know, if you could uh, if you sort of like sell, make to sell, yeah. you know, and you and you sold them individually, yeah. Um, you know, so you, if you got a couple, you could keep the, you know, you'd make your money back, wouldn't you? Exactly, yeah. I'd, I'd use my sterling silver wire with them, or even if you'd used, um, you know, like the sterling silver spacer beads that we do, mm -hmm. and just had that one focus, that focal gemstone. Yeah. Can even put that, oh, sorry. So, oh, you try to hold my hand. I'd, yeah. I always try and, like, just stay, stay close. It was Gemma Crow, that once that gave me a kiss on her when we handed over, and it was just, it was a bit too long. And even she went, I felt sorry. <laughs> a bit awkward, this kiss. It was a bit, she never lived it down. Um, it was a bit like, all right, get off. <laughs> she messaged me after the show, that was a bit of a lingering kiss. So I went, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Gemma. I'll go, I'll go off air in four hours, get off. <laughs> Anyway, Kevin, 69, no, poor Jennifer's, poor Kevin's not going to say, I'm so glad you told those nutters me name. Uh, yeah, code RDGY34, they've nearly gone. Jeanette in Bristol, good luck, sweet pea, you win. You, if you want them, my lovely girl, you, we're down to the last couple of chances, so good luck, lovely. 69.95, you'll love this. I'm mm. that confident. Truly. Truly scrumptious. Dee, 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 dee. Margaret, hello, Margot. Should I have? I've had fun tonight. Oh, good. That's what we want. Mm. It's been like a girly night in it, except for the wine. Have you not had oh, any wine, Margot? Be nice. Why have you not had any wine, Margot? Well, we haven't had wine though. Margot might have had wine, mightn't she? Ah, so Margot might have had wine. Mm. I look like I've had wine. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Mirabaza, thank you so much. I'm glad Aww. you had a good time, Margaret. We have as well. Thank you so much, Z, for my birthday song. I'm blessed to have such lovely friends, Mirabel. Mirabel, I posted Aww. your card. I hope it's there tomorrow. I did put a first class on it. Oh, Is this in the post office today? Right. Can I just... Other shops are available. I don't get this right. So I walk in. There's two women. This There's one woman. Anyway, there's this two women. Two tills. Behind the counter. Sat where we are, like this. So I said to, I gave, I handed the card over, birthday card, and I wanted to buy a book of stamps. 
So I wanted to put it all on my credit card. So the lady went, well, that's that for that and that's that for that. I said, well, can I put it? Oh, it's two separate tills. I went, pardon? I said, I'm not being... She was two... I said, I'm not... I'm... I? I said, I mean... You can only buy stamps from one till. She would only have the one when you go to... The... I said, she's telling me I can't buy my stamps and my, and my birthday card on the same... It's two separate tills. I'm not more... I'm not being rude, lovely, but that's weird. Mm. <laughs> I said, I just want to pay for one transaction with... No, it's two separate tills. I went, that, you're like, that's not my fault. That's very odd, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I just thought, how is this right? No. I just, and the trouble is, when my mum used to argue like this in shops, I'd be more, I'd say, I'm never going to be like you. And I'm just as bad. Because <laughs> I just, I don't get idi, 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 weird things like, I don't. Mm. Two separate tills. Well, I <laughs> just want to buy my card and my stunts. It's really not yeah. much. Because then yeah. they go together very well, don't they? Well, I'm in a post office and I just want to buy my card and my stamps, but I've got mm. two separate tills. Oh, dear. <laughs> OK. <laughs> very odd. Uh, if you work in a post office, you can tell me why. Please do. I'd be intrigued. Um, say, say, say what? No. No. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> no. Yes, that's fine. Sorry, that's the first time I've ever said no to a producer, but there you go. Right, Moonstone. Ah. And Pete says no. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, OK. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bit like that woman today in the post office. Can I buy these together? No. no. Two separate tails. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Now then, we've done these because there is about to be a blood moon. Mm. Isn't that? And it's supposed to be the brightest blood moon um, that's been um, viewable in the past century. So it's a big deal. But if you go outside to look at it, please do come back in. But mm. apparently you've got uh, an hour and 15 minutes, haven't you? But do, do come back. But it, it's beautiful. Apparently, I'm very interested. I hope mm. we can see it. I hope the weather's yeah. not ruined it for us. Um, so, five ninety five, just a phenomenal price point for natural moonstone, yeah. So then, we're doing the hokey cokey with the graphics. Sam says, you girls have brought sparkle to a dull, stormy night in the northeast. Oh, oh. Well, that's Aww. lovely. That's really nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Stormy mm. weather. Is it a good smell, though, Sam? <laughs> does, it, does it smell? Seriously. Seriously. I wouldn't worry about that, lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as poor, poor, poor Pasco's like, what? You're, you're surrounded by five women. You're not going to get your own <laughs> way, love. Oh, yeah. Let's be honest. Four women? One, two, three, four. Five women? He's got five women. He's like, can we do this wrong? No. <laughs> can I suggest? No. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> right then. Um, now, um, Five ninety five for that. It's a full length strand, thirty centimeters, completely natural, wonderful. Um, thank you. Can I just tell you, it means so much to us when you take the time to text these lovely, mm. really kind messages in. It really does give us a sort of second wind and a boost. And it's because, of course, when we're sat here, we can't unless we get that from you. We, we don't. Mm. We can't get a feel for how you're enjoying it. And it really does it boost lovely, us, doesn't yeah. it, and make us feel yeah. lovely. Yeah. People Obviously, if you're not them. enjoying it, don't message it, <laughs> please. Have you done that, those pearls yet? Because you've got all those colours in that rainbow, haven't you? They, I would just alternate with those, um, that pearl okay. scoop. Well, we haven't yet, but we might oh. later. Oh, OK. Yeah. Oh. Um, right then, now, am I right in thinking you're going? Yes. Yeah, we've had a bit of a mix-up on how we're doing it today. So you're, go you're going? I'm going, yeah. Do you need me? No. Oh. Um, but when are you back on? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, so like uh, a mid and mid and a late. So the same as you've done today. Yes, but on Tuesday. Yeah. Yes. So you're sort of mixing it up and going across the mid and the uh, and the late yes. show. You lush. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Kiss you. Kiss. Kiss you. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Smell stuff. Thank you for the consequences, <laughs> little demo as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. yeah. Now don't worry. We're not going anywhere. 
We're still stopping with your live till 10, so please don't leave. Don't you go. Uh, yet yeah, no, because we've got a very exciting hour coming up for you, actually. Stacked with goodies. Oh, yeah. Mm, watch it, you. So, this lovely lady will be back on your screens on Tuesday. I'll be back on your screens after this very short break, so please stick around and we'll see you soon. Join Mark Smith this Sunday from 8am as we have the popular Link Bead back in stock. We have all the original colours which sold out in minutes, but we're excited to introduce 15 brand new colours to the collection. So make sure you link up with us this Sunday. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. We're really excited to be celebrating International Beading Week here at Jewelry Maker, kicking it off this Saturday with a seed bead weekend. We'll be joined by the talented Sylvia Fairhurst. Sylvia is a trustee and former chairman of the Beadworkers Guild and she'll be on our show from 9am. Over the last 20 years she has travelled the UK and Japan teaching her designs. Sylvia's work has appeared in several exhibitions and has been published in a number of books and magazines. Sylvia will be demonstrating lots of techniques and giving you plenty of hints and tips for all you jewellery makers. So make sure you're tuned in this Saturday and let's bring beadworkers together. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. of me. Uh -oh. Yay. Thank, thanks. Anyway, can I show you the star buys in this hour? It's my neon appetite that I gave you. Little flash, didn't I? Little flash. Ah oh, ha ha ha. Look at that. Stunning neon appetite. Uh, 29 available only.
but what a 29 they are. It is, I mean, you, you, you are, that is the kind of, sh you'd need your sunglasses. Wouldn't you? I mean, they are superb, aren't they? So striking, that colour tone. The uh, being truly, truly massively popular, though, and that means I've only got 29 left, and we'll do those for you at quarter two. OK? Might jump a bit earlier. Shall we? Also, the lovely Lucy has just brought over the feather charm. Now, again, not many of these left either. 70-odd. 77. My nan lived at 77. And funnily enough, last weekend, I drove and, and for the first time in about 15 years, I went and drove and parked outside of her house. I had a little look at it. Looks awful now. Quite sad, but yeah, 77 Thistledown Road. I went and had a look. Look at that. I love this design. I like the size. I like the shape. I like the fact that it is evidently a feather. No mistaking it, because occasionally if you see a leaf charm or a feather the charm, they can look very similar. But this star by, should we do this now? Shall we? Yeah, let's just do it. So we have so much detail. I love these little, I'm just showing you from the, from the reverse. You can see that it's clearly stamped 925. And you've got these little sections actually cut away into the feather that you would see if you found a feather on the ground. And it makes it so authentic, doesn't it? I really like this feather charm. I think it's really pretty. And I think the idea of being, you know, a memory for a lost loved one, I think is a lovely idea. Because that happens in the beginning of Forrest Gump, doesn't it, when the feather comes down and he sat on that bench. I just think it's lovely. I also think there are certain jobs um, that you think of, like teachers with a, with a quill, and you're thinking about the ink, the old-fashioned way to, and scroll writing. So I think vintage jewellery is going to work really well with a feather charm. I think solicitors as well, I always think about having, you know, and uh, I don't know why, I just picture a solicitor having a quill with some ink. I just like the idea of it. Oh, hello, Sarah Melanie, lovely girl. How are you? Beautiful bale. Look at that. See what I mean? Oh, I did pluck earlier, honest. Every time there's a hair on me. It's off me blusher brush, Wayne. You might not have seen that before. It's generally not a hairy chest. It's just a blusher brush. Isn't that lovely? That's a lot of silver as well in there. It's a very, very robust charm or pendant, whatever you'd like to call it. It's 40 mil in length and it is a, it is a really massive 3.2 grams of sterling silver. And you're not even going to break a £10 note for all that silver. I think also it's good for someone that's just got a new job or done well in their exams. Because you talk about having a feather in your cap, don't you? Do you like that idea? You know, it's, it's said to be, the, you know, the feather in your cap. And I just think, what a lovely idea if somebody's just got themselves, landed themselves a new job or done really, really well in their exams. I like that idea as well. Do you? Yeah. just think it's really, it's just a great size and shape and the detail. It's beautifully crafted. Look at that. I mean, the real, it, it's... If we just focus on it, if I try and hold it still for you for a second. Thanks for the zoom in, girls. How fascinating detail. Beautiful. It is a real thing of beauty. Do you know, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'll get one when I come up, but can I have that written down on my shopping list as well? So pretty. Really taken to that. Nice earrings as well, Emma, do you think? Mm. Yeah. I don't think so. So have a little pop it up to the ears. Have a little look. Just give you an idea. What do you think? Too big or okay? No, that's nice. No? Do you think that's okay? Well, I have got quite a few of you buying two each. June's had three. So I'm just wondering if you're thinking of gifts or whether you're thinking as, uh, as earring, a pair of earrings or just really lovely. I, I really think that's a stunning design. That's one of our most lovely designs, that. I believe the amount of silver as well. Not only flimsy in any way, is it? 3.2 grams. 
lovely. I could stare at that for hours and you, you should just see every time your eye darts to somewhere else on the on the design, doesn't it? Lovely, lovely. It says charm, but I don't I I don't know if that's a pendant or earrings myself. I, that for me would be a tad too long for me for a charm, but that's just me. You know, we're all different. That's what the lovely thing about making your own jewellery, isn't it? You know, you haven't got to do what anybody else tells you. Yeah, that's great. Really lovely. Uh, sorry, I was just, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be yakking away at you about that. I just, I just sit and look and I would just gawp, if I'm truthful. Like that. Mm. Lovely. Really, really lovely. Beautiful. Well done, you lovely lot. Oh, hello. Now, the chrome dark we had, we've had one chrome dark side on the show this evening. Sold out. Now we've got the nuggets. Nuggets. Of Russian wickedly gorgeous chrome top side. I'll tell you, mm, I was gonna, mm, I'll tell you what, I think with the zircon, you know. Mm, I think with the zircon. We've got a little on and gone section for you, my lovelies. Five chances remaining. That's not very many, is it? Five people on the whole planet out of how many billion? Is it 7.2 billion or something? And we've got five. Twelve ninety-five. <laughs> it's bonkers. Uh, also, I'm thinking um, Christmas in July. Last day today. For those of you that are thinking, really, last day today. But you could make those into a lovely Christmas wreath, couldn't you? Have genuine gemstones. Stephanie says, "Hi, Dina. Oh, you got the feather. I am going to use my silver feathers with the turquoise strands I bought last night. Oh, the two one meter length strands. That's such a good deal, mate. Fabulous. Love the show. Ace products and presenters." Oh, Stephanie, thank you so much. A lovely message, thank you. Aren't you lovely? Yeah, that sterling silver with turquoise, amazing. Mirabelle says, just tucking into a pre-birthday treat, a piece of fresh cream, chocolate cake and strawberries. I could go off you, Mirabelle. <laughs> Mirabelle, what are you doing? Um, I've just started salivating. Mirabelle! Oh, fresh chocolate cream cake. I'm all right, I've got strawberries in the fridge at home, but I ain't got f chocolate fresh cream cake, woman. Wonder it is a birthday tomorrow, but even so, I mean, come on. What are you doing? Happy birthday. Uh, right then, two left, two left, right. Uh, well done, everybody. Violet. I've only got two left, my lovely girl, and it's a whole whopping great big 88 centimetres. So it's a fantastic deal for you there on those Russian natural chrome diopsides. They are beautiful. Well done. Okay, right, two left. We're going to move on because we've got lots to get through for you. Um, oh, okay. Have we really? Oh, we have as well. Oh, my word. 12 chances, Imperial Topaz, the ultimate. Imperial Topaz drops. Imperial Topaz, sizable drops as well. They got to 11 by 6 mil. Lovely variation of tone of colour in an imperial topaz, depending on the time of day you look at it as well, in natural daylight. They're superb. Limited number remaining, 12 I believe we have left. Is that a lowest ever price? You monkey. I'm going to have to have a little count. One, two, three, four. It's so rare to get them in a drop as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 Imperial Topaz on there. Thanks, Luce. Lovely girl just bought me a cup. Thank you, Lucy. She just bought me a cup of tea. We shouldn't really go again on that price point, producer. But um, thank you. 9 95 
How many did I count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 on there. So price per point per natural topaz, imperial topaz, 58p. That is imp impressive. Obviously, price to sell out. 58 pence. Uh, first person bought three. That leaves me with nine. Just so lovely to see um, Imperial Topaz in an actually really usable, e terribly easy to briolet wrap those at the top. They're magnificent, actually. Real steel deal, that, um, Pasco. Yeah. About to sell out. NG RU48. Oh, I love this. 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 Give it to me. She just. Oh, that's It's very. um. It is very Kath Kidson, isn't it? Because I've got Kath. Other designers are available. But I've got a Kath Kidson coffee cups and saucers. Or tea cups and saucers, whatever they are. But that is love. Ooh, oh, look at the inside as well. Oh, it smells nice. Um, stripy pink inside. Lovely, lovely roses. Ro oh, there you go. Rose print craft bag. See, I know my flowers. So you've got a Velcro section at the front. Yeah. See, look. Lovely, in lovely interior. Let's have a look at what pockets we got. Pocket on the side. Bottle of wine. Pocket on the side. Uh, I've done that pocket, so there's an oh, another two pockets on the back. So two more pockets there. And then, do you know what's great? Is inside, if I can show you, there's extra pocket... Oh, can you see? Hang on, I'm going to show you that. Hang on. Right, there you go. Extra pockets there, extra pockets there. Who's got the bag and it's gorgeous? Who? Sonia! Have you got it, Sonia? She said, I've got this bag and it's... It is gorgeous, actually. I really like it. Oh, oh the best thing! <laughs> Zippable. Do you know, every time I buy a bag, it's got to have a zip. I don't like it when they've just got a press stud. It's got to have a zip. It's got to have a zip. It's got to zip. Got to zip. Got to zip. How many have we got left? Oh, rubbish. We've got nine left. Sonia says she's got it and it's, she loves it. She literally loves it. It's just lovely, though, isn't it? What a lovely bag. What a lovely gift bag. What a lovely hobby bag that is. So beautiful. I like it because it's not obvious. Although it is a hobby bag, it's not obviously a hobby craft bag, is it? That'd be nice for the beach as well. Because it's wipeable, isn't it? Because it's um, white clean. I'm really pretty. A oh, lovely bag. No! Did Ella lose us because she's had a storm for an hour? Oh, Ella. 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 Is it raining here? No, oh, we've still not had any rain. What about the moon? Is the moon out yet? Oh. I'm going to be gutted if I don't see this moon tonight. I'm so excited. Lucy, you're on Blood Moon detail. You're on Blood Moon recce. <laughs> it didn't sound right, did it? OK, really... Do you know, I, I bought uh, just a Hessian beach bag. Just a couple of handles, just a Hessian beach bag. Got none of this pockets and stuff. Not a hobby bag, just a beach bag. And it was more than that. And it got nothing to it, just Hessian. It, I'm sorry, but that is a really good price for, for a, a craft bag. Proper craft bag. Oh, have they? Oh, that's a good idea for their knitting. Oh, my friend could have that for his wife, Joy. She likes knitting. Message in from Suzette. She says, I love that bag. Ordered it for many too. Love the show. Rich has gone back to Nigeria, so Jane for company for the next six weeks. Hope you got your parcel okay, Zena. Oh. I haven't got this parcel yet, Suzette. Come we, we're going to have to go and have a little recce after the show. I haven't had your parcel yet, so I'm going to have a recce. Oh, Suzette, thank you, though, in anticipation. Thank you, lovely girl. Great idea for you, knitting. Apparently... Our moon's behind the trees in the car park and it's too cloudy. Aww. Has anybody seen the Blood Moon yet? Have you seen it yet? 
It's called Blood Moon. I can't help it. That's what it's called. I can't help it. That's what they called it. Amelia said, Anila. Anila. Can you say people's names right? Otherwise, it's not fair on Anila, is it, in Norfolk? She knows I know her name and you've just ruined it. Sorry, Anila. I have this bag and I love... Everybody loves this bag. They love it. There's nobody said, oh, I quite like it. Everybody so far has got this bag, has messaged and said, oh, I love it. Terribly pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Violet's got it as well. How many left? I think that's a good Christmas present. Five craft bags left. Ha, la, 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 la. We can't sing Christmas songs after today, can we, until Christmas again? No, it's bad luck. Bad luck. Do you believe in that bad luck and stuff like that? I like go under ladders and things. Pretty pony. Ready? Oh. Ready? Hey! Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you for messaging in. Um, the little teeny, 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 teeny little beautiful cutie ones. Oh, they're, oh, wow. Oh, they're good. It's like the, the blood moon, but in a sunstone. <laughs> yeah, but these aren't hiding behind the trees. Look at those. Oh, they are pretty. Quite a nude. As we've gone past the nine o'clock, I'm allowed to say nudie doody. They're lovely. Very bl they're a really unusual tone of sunstone, actually. Thinking with the uh, zircon earlier, that'd look great. We have had a message from... You like doing the hokey cokey with the graphics, you, don't you? Caroline said, we have thunder and lightning and I can't see any moon here. Oh, well, we get the, on a positive, we're getting rain, which we are desperate for, aren't we? But, yeah, it's, I tell you what, they've got us all psyched up for this blood moon and none of us can see it. It's so distressing. Ella, Ella, Ella. Zena, how long is the blood moon there for? Well, apparently till quarter past ten tonight. Yeah. That's what it says on the news. I don't know, I'm not a weather person, but they said nine till quarter past ten tonight. Hmm. Anyway. Um, and uh, Gail said, oh yes, I always salute single magpies. Do you? I, when do you ever get a single magpie? I get loads in my garden. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm magpies like my garden. Mm. Um, can I show you that, this with these? Because I really like these. Look at them. See, I think they go really nice together. Are they red agate? Or Jasper or... I don't know, but they're really cool. Aren't they? So, yeah, get the sunstone. Oh, red magnesite cubes, sorry. Yeah. That's my chair. That's my chair. These are ice. Look at those. Cubes! Cubes! Proper cubes. Cube-tastic. They're lovely. They're ice. So, cubes, cubes. Six mil. In red. Proper red as well, isn't it? Lovely, really, quite a bright red, actually. Oh, ice. 4 .95. They're fun strands, those, aren't they? Don't you think? When you want something a bit more quirky and a bit different. Yeah? Oh. Is it our lovely Sonia? What's she say? At least she sounds like she's having a party on that chair back there. Sonia says the moon was supposed to be eclipsed for about an hour and 23 minutes and it's the longest we'll see in, it in our lifetime. Yeah, that's what I've heard as well. So it's supposed to be, well I got told on the news and between nine and quarter past ten. So we're roughly the same. And, uh, yeah, so for an hour and, well, yeah, hour and 15, I got told. But, yeah, pretty much the same as you, Sonia. And it's the longest we'll have seen in, in, our, in, in the past century. So assuming none of us are over 100. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 
Have, has anybody seen it yet? We're all excited about this blood moon. But, uh, yeah, they're great. So, um, you're right behind there, Luce. Oh, I'm just checking you're all right, love. She's all right, apparently. She's okay. Ooh. Say it one more time. Hmm. Nope. Oh, hon, yeah, tell me when they're teeny tiny because they're hard to see, sweet pea, sorry. We've had this chat about the, the, about the description, haven't we? Come on. Don't help him, Leo, we're trying to wind him up. <laughs> He's the new boy, we have to play him up. <laughs> oh, oh. We just all love this, don't we? We all love microfacity white topaz. Brilliance, sparkle, pretty, innocent. I just think these are great because, again, if you are working with um, bridal commissions or you want to just have something zing or ping in a, in a hair fascinator or a hair comb or some cinema or shibori or whatever it is that you're making, Especially with your seed beads, you want to do a lovely little seedy bead, you want to do, you want to highlight, it's like a punctuation highlight of sparkle, isn't it? The clarity. I mean, imagine those mixed in with those beautiful neon appetites that we had, or the sphene. Just look at that, look how crisp they are. See, look. Oh, Sonny said, I'm excited, but it's too cloudy to see anything, just get a bit of thunder, but no rain either, and this is 10 miles from Stratford. Oh, you're not that far from us then. Oh, Sonia, it's not fair, is it? Sorry, Sonia, love. Got you all excited, haven't we? No, can't see it. That naughty moon. Oh, what a shame. But, but all the weathermen are all going really upset because they've all told us it's going to be the longest you're going to see it in our lifetime. It's been 100 years and, it's, and nobody can see it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's Mother Nature. If she doesn't want us to see it, she doesn't want us to see it. Mmm, <laughs> little tease. So there you go. Beautiful. 10 95 Great price point for microfacet, as we know, especially white topaz. Mm-hmm. All the same size. Now, everybody's just saying, ooh, what's that neon appetite? Well, is she star by? Do you know what I think, Wayne? Producer, I think we do it now. I'm sorry, but when we get something like that, that good in front of our faces, we're like, oh, don't make me wait. Please don't make me wait. Please don't make me wait. So we won't. We'll do that as your star buy for you to sort of to, to stop everybody feeling distraught about the blood moon. Forget the blood moon. Let's go for some neon appetite. So a bit like, oh, you know, like when you sat in the theatre and the house lights go up like that and they want to get you in and you go, oh, and you get, oh, all the spotlights go, vroom, you're like, oh, a bit like that. It's a lot like that, but blue, neon blue, like you see in those signs in shop windows to, to advertise what they're doing from miles away so you can see it from your car. They should just do it in neon appetite. Wouldn't need any lights then, would you? That's bold, isn't it? I've got to show it you with the sphene because I can't help myself. Look at that. Those are there any sphene left, Pasco? There are. Oh, that's good news. There are. Brilliant. There's a few of the sphene left. Good, 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 good. Neon appetite. Fascinating gems. They go lovely with the amber we had earlier. Um, the only thing is, we ha well, we did have 14, but Julie checked one out. In County Durham. 
I don't think the weather's helping. I don't think anybody's managed to see the blood moon yet. Yeah, sorry, everybody. Oh, somebody set a telescope up, did they? Oh, bless them. Oh, is that Jane? I think I wasted my time setting up my telescope to observe the moon. Very overcast, so I may as well bring it in and make jewellery instead. <laughs> Do you know, there you go. Whether the weather lets us down, we can still rely on jewellery, can't we? Eh? We won't be, we won't be, de is it deterred? It is the word, isn't it? Deterred, yeah. Neon appetite, bold, bright, electrifying. I love them. The facet work on them is superb. Good size drill hole, workable strand. And that shock of colour. It's, it's like the buoyancy of a peridot, isn't it? For brightness. Like they effervesce, don't they? Now then. We're going to try, we can't make any promises, but we're going to try and give you, ooh. Excuse me while I just turn my producer down in my ear. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you loud munchkin. Anyway, I just want to show you in my silver. Because I do, I personally, I know it go, I do know it goes nice with gold and rose gold, but I do think it goes great with silver. Um, I'm t oh, oh, and now, Julie, I know you checked out while it was seventeen ninety five. Don't worry, Julie, you pay the same as, as Alexandra and Celine and Suzette and Helena and Lisa and collectors. Now I only started with them um, fourteen. Did I? Or am I talking rubbish? No, how many is it? 29 like this shit. Why did I say 14? Have I gone bonkers, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. Um, no, I'm talking absolute rot. And I started with 29. I'm reading the wrong figure off the sheet. So I'm terribly sorry about the little fibrillata. Well, it wasn't a fib, because I thought I was telling the truth. It's not a fibrillata. It is definitely... We had 29. Okay. Sharp. Set. Oh, Helena's had two. Oh, get you, Helena. Mind you, it's a good price, isn't it, for uh, appetite? That good. A little bit of heat treatment to bring out that electrifying blue. Just love them. Oh, I'll show you against the black background, actually, so you can see how good they are, even against the night sky. Look at that. Wow. So I'm thinking, if you've got that little black dress, that very lovely, sexy ball gown, might be going to a New Year's Eve party. Tried a really awkward thing about uh, New Year's Eve a few years ago. I've got some really good friends, Paul and Yvette, that used to be my neighbours for 14 years, and I've moved around the corner now. We're only five-minute walk, and they're still r probably two of my best friends. And I... I <laughs> I had apparently invited them to my house for New Year's Eve. I get a phone call while I'm away skiing in Switzerland. <laughs> Never lived it down. They're going, are you in? We're here with our glad rags on. And I'm thinking, oh, no. I went, well, are you, are you coming to the door? I went, I'll have a job. I'm in Switzerland. <laughs> she went, oh, charming. I was morti utterly mortified. <laughs> oh, this is, I'm, she never let me forget it, obviously. <laughs> you are sorry? No, they, well, no, because they just trusted me at my word, because I never let them down before, never since. But it's like, I'm in Switzerland. <laughs> Completely forgot. Awkward. <laughs> they forgave me, sort of. But um, I felt awful. I really did. Ethiopian opal. Hmm. Hang on. Perhaps they've fallen off my. Oh, they. 
Oh, they have. They've fallen off. Sorry. Oh, hello. Oh, they're cute. They'd fallen off me teeth. They'd probably fainted at the price we're going to. So, ten carrots. Of Ethiopian opal. I think they'd go great with those um, neon appetites. I'm putting them back together. Look, look at that. I mean, to be able to get Ethiopian opal of any of any caliber uh, uh, whatsoever, and look, oh, did you see, see that? Oh, hang on, let me take this. Oh, hang on, take those away so I can show you properly. Look here, and now I've got a really brightly lit studio. You can see, look, you can see the, the the yellows and the greens. Look, and the orange. Oh, it's got some rare orange and violet in there. Nine ninety five. Okay, we've got too many to get through. Let's um, you do, 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 do. Oh, they've got holes in as well. Oh, two holes in. Ooh. Oh, hang on, I've got to. Can you go away? Thank you. I've got, oh, brilliant. Oh, pink. Sorry, got all excited. Double drilled. I've had two double drilled. I've had the amber and now these. Double drilled pink amethyst. And you do get five. They range from 16 by 11 to 24 by 17 mil, and you're going to get all of those for just $8.95. Faceted, double drill, pink amethyst, completely natural. Oh, no, sorry, I do apologise. They're um, heat-treated for pink amethyst, so sorry about that. Heat-treated, double drilled, 8.95. Okay, so we're racing through. He's got so many to get through, my lovelies. Sorry about that. Um. Okay. Uh, no, I've got two... I could, um... Okay, can you, can, yeah, can I see them? Because I've got two aquamarines and I need to know which one it is. Sorry, I just need to see them because it could be one or the other. Um, yeah, sorry, I need to, that doesn't help me. Because I've got two aquamarines and one's particularly different to the other. Uh, no, because I think the other one's Santa Maria. Yeah, right, okay, so it is this one. Sorry. Sorry, my lovelies. So then. Brazilian aquamarine. They're a bit special, aren't they? Oh, look at those. They're incredible. Wow. Sharp. Really clean. Do you know what always amazes me about aquamarine like this? When you get that kind of clarity and that, that style of that light blue, for such a light pastel blue gemstone, they've got a real impact, haven't they? Real high impact aquamarine, those. I'm gonna have to show you those on. For 39.95, that is a really good quality strand. Really good quality strand. Look at that, wow. Sharp, clean, crisp. Sensational, aren't they? And they come alive on the skin. A bit like pearls, they absolutely come alive on the skin. Just incredible. Right then, we have got a new treat in the show that we've kept quiet. They are high end, stunning ruby. Would you like to see them? Oh, they're a bit special. 
Wow. Aren't they an incredible tone of colour? Perfect little drops, perfect faceted drops. So just go to the end there. We actually start at two by one mil. Look at that colour. And then as we go along, thank you girls, as we go along there, right into that centre, that juicy five by three mil. Wow. So Madagascan, we know that, that Madagascar gives us these incredible rubies. Recording's incredible. They're just as equally as beautiful in the studio. It's a very limited edition strand. It is, oh, sorry, it is absolutely brand new. We've never had it before, but we've only, at this calibre and this quality, we've only managed to source 21. Now, I'm going to give you an idea of how many I've got on there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. Gosh, 27 on there. I wouldn't have thought that. 27 beautiful rubies on there from, from Madagascar. And I'm fascinated by the tone of colour. It's like a very purpley red, isn't it? Don't you think? Very rich, sort of pinky, purpley red. They're amazing. Ten carats of ruby on that strand. They're beautiful. Can I try them on the skin one more time? There you go. Perfect, aren't they? Perfect, high-end quality droplets of ruby. Totally exquisite. Okay, Amatrine and Citrine. Do, 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 do. No, that's fluorite, isn't it? No, nope, that's fluorite. Okay. Oh. Oh, I just said that was fluorite. We might need to query that one because I'm going to argue that's fluorite all day long. If that's what we're saying it is, I'm going to argue that's fluorite. Sorry. Mm, okay, well, apparently I'm being, I might have argued they're fluorite, but okay. Amethyst and ametrine. Combined in a gemstone strand. Code ODRU40. Never seen a strand like that before. Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Do you know what? I, wasn't, I wouldn't care if I was confused between amethyst, amethyst, fluorite, and 695. I'm having it. Goodness me, that's brilliant. Wow. What a great strand. There are gemstones of amethyst, gemstones of ametrine mixed in onto that strand. With the glow of fluorite, isn't there? Wow, that's superb. They're natural as well. Wow. Can I ask a favour? Because I've got some pearls on this tea bar that are winking at me. I've got some beautiful silver pearls and some lovely smaller pearls as well. Yeah, can we have those? Do you mind? Only because they've been calling to me for ages. Let me show you, look. 
Look at those. I'm just conscious that earlier on on the show tonight we had the most fantastic metallic black and metallic silver pearls, shell pearls. And these are superb. But these are the real deal. They are genuine. And they look metallic as well, don't they? Six to seven mil. I just think, I know we're still doing Christmas in July. That's all year round. All year round. Silver pearls. Look at that. They are superb. Again, lovely iridescence. Lovely, real, real metallic silver. Aren't they great? See, that's the kind of strand I would wear all the time. It goes nice with my top, actually, doesn't it? Because there's bits of, blue, bits of silver in my top. That's lovely. I'll have the code of those written down, please. They're going to be my new favourite strand. Oh, have we got an angel charm? Oh, have we? Let's do that. Where's that? Yeah, what's it like? One or five? Five angels. Oh, they're lovely. Oh. oh gosh, they're so pretty. With a little heart motif in the centre, look. Rose gold plated, 925 sterling silver. All five of those for 895. The wings are beautiful, the heart in the centre is lovely. Can you see that lovely heart, look? Right in the centre there. How much are those each? Because they're a lovely charm. £1.79 each. In fact, if I just grab you a, let's say, a, a, a pearl bracelet, for example, and then I show you that size-wise, you'll see how perfectly sized they are for a charm. Here we go, look. Here we go. Now, Claire McDonald came up with a great idea. I was saying that my mum um, passed away 19 years ago, and every year I buy a little present, I don't know whether it's a plant or whatever it might be, little robin or, you know... Um, and Claire was saying, well, how about making a, a charm bracelet in memory of your mum? And every year adding a charm, like a little red robin that my mom, was my mum's favourite, a lovely little angel and things like that. And I thought, what a great idea. I've never thought about something like that. And these would be perfect for the, like that, wouldn't they? You know, somebody that, that you've classed to be your guardian angel. They're such a lovely shape. Lovely angel charms, 925 sterling silver, with cubic zirconia. No, hang on a second. It says in the description. Hmm, just we'll check that because it says cubic zirconia, but I haven't got cubic zirconia in there. Yeah, no, I, I think the description's wrong. I do. I do apologise. No, just, well, not unless I can, not unless somebody can see something I can't. Yeah, to be fair, I think it's just my description in the studio. No, it says it at the bottom of the screen as well. Can we send an email to the team to query that one as well? Because that, that does not have CZ in it. So, sorry about that. Uh, rose gold plated, 95 sterling silver, angel charms. But yeah, we just need to make a mention on that one because the description's slightly wrong, unfortunately. Oh, that sounds sexy. That sounds very, well, not sexy, pretty. Um, oh. Oh, love. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, how lovely that is. Oh, I've not seen that before. Oh, I like that. Can you see that look if I hold that up? It's going to be quite hard to show. If I can hold it there, look. Oh, wow. Sterling silver, six and a half inch bracelet with a little extender, rhodium plated. So it's going to be anti tarnishing for a lot longer than standard silver. Brilliant. Hypoallergenic. Fantastic. With your sparkling cubic zirconia heart. Definitely got cubic zirconia this time, haven't we? Sparkling a while. Just show you the. There you go. You can see that there. But I'm going to show you the. 
um, lovely trigger clasp and the little extender as well. I'm just going to check the measurement of that actually, just to confirm whether that is six and a half inch with the extender or without. So can you just bear with me a second? I'll just have a little measure for you. Oh, wrong way. Ah, right. So just to confirm that it's six inch without the extender and then you've got a good, <coughs> excuse me, three centimetres, so, you know, rough, yeah, three, cent three centimetres, so just over an inch extender. So the full length of the bracelet is actually, so I'm sorry the graphics are, we're great with our graphics tonight, aren't we? Sorry about that. It's actually seven and a half inch. So it's six and a half inch with a one inch extender. Again, we need to message about that. Sorry about that, everybody. But yeah, just to confirm, six and a half inch plus the one inch extender, seven and a half inch bra bracelet in total. Okay. Oh, wow, brilliant. Oh, they're, they're birthday gifts, aren't they? 14.95. That's ace. I'll have that written down, please. How many have you got? Okay, not a huge number. We've got, a, you know, a few, a few available, but not, only about 50-odd. But, um, yeah, lovely present, that. Really like that. And the fact that it's rhodium plated as well. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, so just to confirm, six and a half inch without the extender, with the extender one inch, seven and a half max. So six and a half to seven and a half inch. I've just measured it for you. All right. 925 stamped as well, of course, and a good 1.4 grams of sterling silver. Um, Hon, we've got a metre chain of ball chain here. I need to show, I need to do that because that is a brilliant deal. It's the, I can't remember where it was, but it's, I think it might be one of your earlier hours. You got it? Got it. Okay, the price on this, we're going to, um, now, it's incredible and it is actually an entire metre length of sterling silver in this beautiful ball chain. Now, I don't think, I don't know whether we describe it as a uh, diamond cut, but it, I'm going to argue that that's diamond cut because the sparkle is glorious through these. And I think the fact that we've not called it diamond cut, when it clearly is, is, a, is the, the reason the price is so bizarre. Because it's a metre of sterling silver, hugely stylish ball chain, which we know is ma brilliant for tassels, brilliant for layering, super sparkly, and so fashionable. A whole metre, it's definitely been diamond cut. I'll tell you what, Wayne, get the price in because it's brilliant. But I don't have many left. Grab it as quick as you can. It's going under. £10. That's for a metre. That's 100 centimetres. Just shy of 40 inches of chain in sterling silver. I'm sorry I don't have very many. Louise has straightened and had to. How many do we have, actually? Four left. Did say we were limited, didn't I? Four, yeah, but great. To get a metre of chain for a jewellery maker for £7.95. That's ace. Absolutely brilliant. They're about to sell out. Well done. Incredible sparkle. Oh, everybody loves these. Everybody loves these. Is it the rose gold? Forty centimeters, ninety-five sterling silver. It says two-tone, but we've got rose gold, look at this, look at the amount of sterling silver. Five point four grams of sterling silver. It's incredible. So, in total, I'm just going to check how many I get on here. One, two, three, four, five. So what happens is when you put it on the neckline, you have three, sort of there, and then as you go up the neckline, if you can just see, there's, there's another one either side there. So if you do wear that as a beautiful necklace like that, that's the vision that you get. 
for twenty two ninety five. And they look so obviously like daisies, don't they? It's the silver weight that's incredible. Over five grams in that chain. Five, over five grams of sterling silver in that one chain. Thank you. Big, big saving there. Taking it to 16.95. You've got a full necklace if you just add the clasp. I think we can squeeze one more in. Come on, we can squeeze one in. Are they wheels? I think they are. I think we can just get those in. Just quickly. It's gonna have to be a quick one for you. Because we're nearly at the at the at the end. But don't worry, we rerun re our morning show, then our mid-show, then our late show again, and then we're bright and breezy in with you at 8 o'clock in the morning. And I've got to remind you about Sunday morning with Mark Smith as well. So 40 carats of peridot. There's lovely wheels, lovely, bright, beautiful peridot. Code GHYY10. We know that peridot is bright in the day, bright in the evening, and we'll, we'll give you the most fantastic 7.95 on those. 7.95. Brilliant, gorgeous peridot. Right, I need to tell you as well about Sunday morning. So Sunday morning, myself and Mark Smith, oh my goodness me, we've, we've been showing you the VT. We might get to show it again if we, in the break if we can. But um, we have got, now during the birthday week, Mark and I had two kits with about 100 of link beads. Um, thank you, okay. Uh, we had two kits with about 100 and they sold in a nanosecond. Uh, it's been the first time since May that we've managed to get a really good order of link beads in for you on Sunday morning's show. We have 20 different colours of link beads coming up on Sunday morning, 15 of them brand new. And we are the only supplier in the whole of the UK that you can get them from. That's it, we've got exclusivity. So if you would like to own jewellery makers, five of the colours that we had previously we've got again. 15 of the colours are brand new and the jewellery, because I'm very lucky Mark Smith emailed me the photographs today, the jewellery that Mark Smith has made with the link beads are phenomenal, the check glass link beads. So do please join me bright and early uh, on Sunday and uh, we'll have a fantastic link bead show. Take care. <laughs> Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join Mark Smith this Sunday from 8am as we have the popular Link Bead back in stock. We have all the original colours which sold out in minutes, but we're excited to introduce 15 brand new colours to the collection. So make sure you link up with us this Sunday. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewellery Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewellerymaker.com.